And so, I mean, yeah, this, this is uh, gonna definitely add a lot more, like, shadow, shadowy play. Remember, you are doing things to the game. It's, it's literally your connection. I don't know how I'm gonna say Cyber terrorism say. in Dallas. Let's, 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 not, let's, not let any kind of, let's not let any kind of fantasies happen here. I watched all of the new X-Files episodes. Don't talk about them! If you buy a shit ton of this and then rat out the first or something, you're gonna lose your shit ton of this. All right, we should be coming through live and clear to everybody. Everybody on the Twitch, say hello. Live and clear? Is that how they say it? Live and clear, bitches. It looks old school because um, all our Can youngins. You hear me? Can you hear me? Live and yeah. clear. Uh, it looks like all our, uh, all our youngins are off at Fan Fest. Space Camp. We sent the kids camp. to Space yeah, Camp. Yeah. Space Camp. <laughs> Okay, hold on. We got. Um... Normally, you send the kids off to space camp so the parents right, can you know, have just for fun shit one thing you. to do. Yeah, it's more sex. Yeah. <laughs> Don't drag him up here until he's uh like tuned in or whatever. Oh, ah! there, he is. there he is. Supposed to have Grath Telkin here. Hopefully, uh, he said he'd try and drop by. So. Uh... Yep, that'd be all right. So I just want to say this. You know, I didn't intro, I didn't intro it because I thought, hey, fuck it, whatever. We have an intro, but uh, finally, f totally, absolutely been confirmed. Rip Prince. Um, Rip Prince, baby. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a shock for some people. I think some people thought he was already dead. It's not a <laughs> shock, right? Man, he was fifty-seven years old. I mean, he looked a little gaunt at times, but uh, it's about that, Rick James. That was just man. Prince. <laughs> Rick James. Um. Did you see the tweet that I put out there? I had to. Have your Stargazer retweeted it. Rowanon tweeted today. <laughs> um, what's the Anderson Cooper from a CNN thing in front of him it says breaking news? More sad news from the music industry. And when you click on it, and it expands. At the top left is a picture of Kanye West, and at the bottom it says Kanye West is found alive in his apartment earlier today. <laughs> 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 so Rowan on thanks for that Kanye. that's fucking funny I, <laughs> that was fucking hilarious I, I had to retweet that when I saw that um, China died so if you don't know who she is well that was two to three days ago wasn't it yep she did yeah yeah but it's that time right everybody dies in threes I don't know who, that who China died? I don't know that China can be classified one of those people as oh damn China died oh, too whoa, whoa. there's like, gotta yep. be a third like WWF China? Yes. WWE. Oh shit! I actually know who that is. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, it, she is. She's a she's she's a celebrity. I mean, she's not like. I mean. Yeah, that is big news, Eve Streamer One. Fuck Prince. The new Doctor Who companion will be announced on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um. I never listened. So to I didn't Prince. say anything. People were talking about it. I hope it's a cross-gendered person. I got to be honest. Oh my god. I do. I think that that would be uh, very modern, and it would. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner, yeah. so or or a Syrian Doctor Who should be having to drop a, dra, dra, drag around a Syrian refugee. So um, today, like I tweeted out, this is the uh, it, the, the open comic show fan fest edition because again, fan fest kicked off today for with some stuff. Um, I watched, I caught most of it. Luckily, um, you know, it's, it, you, know, you know, the people here were talking before the show, and I didn't say anything. I tell you what, I tell you what. Um, the, tra the 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 new trailer was really cool. They always do trailers, but I got a chance to watch just the features video for the upcoming studios. And I'll tell you what, I've said this before: you are not going to get new players to play this game by telling them, "Hey, we we're bringing in new destroyers," or t telling the people that we're you're re you're bringing in new iterations of shit that's already in the game. Because if they don't have a reference for that, they don't know what that is. But I'll tell you what. If you was to go out there and go to Rock Paper Shotgun or uh, what's the other one, um, Kotaku. Uh, Kotaku, and you 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 got there, and the first thing that popped up was that trailer, I mean, that, that that little uh, features video they made for Citadels and stuff, and it never said Eve Online. That could absolutely be a new, brand new fucking game coming out. The way that they looked, the way that everything was so you know nice and shiny. Um, 
just the sheer kind of epicness of it, if it never said CCP or EVE Online, I think you can absolutely fool people into thinking there is a new space game coming out. I think just the amount of work that they're putting into this is definitely going to come through on this uh, in this iteration of their, you know, their expansion. Well, part of the problem is we don't want to fool anybody that they, that there's a new game coming out. <laughs> we, we, we don't want to <laughs> fool them about anything because it's hard enough retaining people who come and try it to begin with. So, well, there is well, a no, new game coming no, out. No, no, well, yeah, there is. But I'm, I'm saying <laughs> well, later, later. I'm just saying maybe that, what know, they should do is show a bunch of pixels, make it look like, yeah. Uh, no, no, it's, that it's harder game. No, this would be stupid. Space what I'm saying is, again, the video and, and just the way and again, the amount of content that they're putting in and the work that they've done to it. Um, I think it's definitely one of those things where, again, had this been just a little, you know, you joined somebody's Twitch channel and it showed this little 45 second video, I think it absolutely have you going, what the fuck game was that? Yeah, that, that I like bad both ass. trailers. Uh, I mean, Dirk and I were talking about it before, just before the show, but I liked, and uh, so the, the big grandiose, like the actual official trailer for the Citadel expansion, really cool. Got lots of firefights, all kinds of cool shit. That's the one that's going to grab new people in and, you know, get them playing because there's a lot of action. But, uh, like we said, it, it's that's not what the Citadel... No world. trailer. No like trailer that. from EVE. No trailer. Not a one. Not one trailer that they have ever made for EVE should be the thing that anybody has built on their expectations about when they enter this game. None of it looks right, right. like that. None of it plays like that. None of it does anything like that. I mean, it makes all but of us feel good, and especially the people who are sitting there in that big, giant, like, kind of theater situation and whatnot, right, with the sound booming and all. It, it, it's totally it's totally hype candy, no question about that. Are you talking about that crazy cinematic new trailer for Citadels? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's a lie. Well, that's yeah, the it, biggest it, lie ever. Whether it's a lie or not, it was still <laughs> exciting. I mean, it got all me of this. I was like, I'm ready for this. All of this is a lie, though, right? We all know all of this is a lie, and what we have to do is imagine. And and I give them that, right? They want people to imagine that this is what's taking place and things like that. And we can all reason with that, right? But if you're somebody out there who doesn't know and you know sees that and goes, "Oh man, let me go check this out," it kind of you know it, it, it kind of falls down just a little. I don't think so because for you to really get to that content is going to be a while. I mean, that kind of content they're talking about looks cool. Uh, but you know, you will have to, you as, as a new player, you'll be like, oh, okay. There's so much other stuff before you get there. Uh, this game can definitely, you know, that can attract you. This game can hold you with the stuff that you have to go through to get there. I, I believe. Oh, Ch I, Ch Ch Chad Stethile should share the same trailer as Microsoft Excel. <laughs> uh, oh. should just show a bunch of people sitting in stations for years and then well, finally no. having a citadel. I mean, and look. I think that they need to make trailers like that. Um, don't get me wrong. I don't think that you know. Uh, you know don't don't take it as I think that they should make something that's like really low key or whatever, and then people like like under promise and then over deliver or something like that. Uh, you've got to have flash in the pan. That's so my my problem. My problem with that particular trailer wasn't so much. Um, wasn't so much that it was, you know, kind of flash in the pan. And we've been around, you know, most of us, a lot of us have been around this for a number of years, have seen other trailers and, you know, trailers that never amounted to anything, let alone a trailer for something we know to be coming out uh, in, in what is it, six days? Um, it was more kind of what it said to me, all right? I'm a believer in, in um, the things that get built in EVE as much as the things that get destroyed, whether they be structures or whether the structures be the infrastructure of the societies that get built out in space by the players. And that trailer spoke to me from a sense of everything about Eve is about destruction. It goes back to it goes back to a couple of years ago at FanFest when Hilmar got up on stage and said, destroy, destroy, destroy. And it was like this mantra for a while that everything must be able to be destroyed. You know what? We need stuff to get built first. We want people to f have a sense of, you know, a feeling of ownership in in creating something in the game before the mongrel hordes go out there and tear it all down. Because it's well, too easy to tear things down. Well, and 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 I already said that earlier, but uh, that's what the other trailer, like the the features of Citadel tour video that they that they released as well. That one does. It's a nice calm. You got music, and it's just showing all the different Citadel types. And all the features that they're going to have in them, showing the new capitals. It doesn't mention all the, the capital modules, but it says that there's a bunch of those coming out. Shows the fire squadron thing. So it's kind of just showing like the new stuff coming out in the expansion, but also just kind of showing the citadels as like 
things that you can build. So without any, you know, the smokers killing the atoll and water world thing. But uh, let's uh, let's do an early show shot for uh, for Fan Fest for CCP putting it together and uh, all of that good stuff. And uh, yeah, then we'll then we can get back to uh... yeah. So a shot to CCP for a uh, another big party at the top of the volcanic island in the cold. But yeah, so um, I don't know. I, I um, you know I I woke so... up this morning. I woke up this morning to uh, to try and watch it, which I think it I think it was supposed to start about eight a.m. Eastern. I know it's an hour into it basically before before the keynote starts. They they got some stuff in the beginning. There's a lot of gaps. Um, there's a lot of gaps in 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 their coverage where they're doing something and then they just cut to here's the schedule, and then you know let, you know ten minutes come back, five minutes later come back. You know you kind of wish that they could just keep it going. I have a question. Totally off topic right now. How many people here are not professionals at doing this fucking streaming? Who has not been doing it for a, a, quite a long time? What I ask that is, why do people insist on sending Skype messages? I don't understand that. I, I, I want to sit here and I, my little Skype thing blinks. Like, don't they understand that when I go check that, I hope it's not me telling you how hard you're banging your wife in her vagina. Because it's going to go on stream. <laughs> Let's go see. You just posted in the thing. Okay. Not on the yeah, Well, I can tell you Rain said have fun, but I can't read the rest of it because I'm not opening it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just, you know, we do it for so long. And it, and it just, that is like my pet peeve. When everybody uses Skype and they stream, they know that anything that happens. Well, you don't have to <laughs> open it. There's nothing telling you you have to open a message. I want to read what the fuck it says. I do. Well, you don't have to. There's nothing that important coming in that you know. Well, that's you know, what I'm saying. I, I, I don't know that. So anyway, I've been telling me. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's rain saying BC BC cut the stream. They're watching you right now, and they said if you go on three seconds longer, you're, yeah, they're going to come exactly. down on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm just saying it's just that that just drives me nuts when I see the thing go off. Like, dude, you know. <laughs> there you go. I hope I hope it's not that because when I actually had that happen one time, somebody goes. Hey, I don't want you to throw this on air, but um, is he coming through harsh to you on the uh, on your like like? Does he sound like he's vibrating his microphone? Are you talking about BC? It's loud. Yeah, yeah, BC. A little bit. Yeah, he's, I think you need to turn the gain down a little bit, bro. Tiny bit. Because you were even sitting back and it was like rattling the microphone's teeth. Jesus Christ! I'm sorry. You know, manly voice no, would do that. God damn it, it! It will. It will. I mean, it may be your beard projecting. I'm just trying. It is. I'm trying to help you sound look, like the look, lovable audience. I, 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 look, hold on. Yeti. The problem is, I shaved. Therefore, I have less um, uh, noise control. So it was. It was a buffer. The beard isn't insulating your voice anymore. Correct. I have less sound insulation now. <laughs> Victor, Victor Fell, you, you fucking grenade tosser. <laughs> Victor Fell. Victor Fell, instead of us discussing the blacklisting of TMC media credentials at FanFest, could you write an article about it on Crossing Zebras? <laughs> <laughs> okay. My man, Victor. So, for those that didn't know, as it's been said, I have no problem talking about it since it's been said. Um, I mean, people from TMC were going to FanFest. They asked for credentials. They were denied. Um, and, and, and it brings to the question real quick of, one minute you sit there and you say, "Hey, you're a press, you're a me, you're a, a media press, you know, website. You're not just a fan site. You're a press site. Then why can't we have press credentials? Now I'm not going to bash CCP. Uh, you know, they can choose to do what they want. It just looks a little bit shady. It's a little you know? bit of railroadish, I think. But yeah. Well, okay. So um, yeah, I, we might as well address. It. Okay. So remember, a press pass here is not a uh, media fan site entrance into into uh, <laughs> Victor. You know I love you, Victor. You know I love you. You're my favorite Democrat, bro. Um, favorite Democrat. It, it it is not a um, it is not a free pass into the event, right? Um, it, it's basically as though you were press that you know you get access to maybe kind of some uh, behind the scenes as, as it was put to me because I wanted clarification as to what it meant. Um, the, I guess the press room or the media room or something like that, which, which I can't imagine is all that big of a, you know, big, big of a thing. Um, but apparently TMC was denied for maybe some stuff that's happened. 
apparently not real recently, but but maybe going back a little bit, that maybe they feel as though TMC in some way or another is is being a little overly um, against anti-CCP or anti- That's what I'm saying. And again, I'll I don't say know this, the specifics. I don't know the I'll specifics. I'll say this quite right. open and to the point. Sometimes if you poke the bear, the bear pokes back. I mean... Well, and, if, and, and, and I understand that, okay? But here's the thing, right? Um... CCP could be the grown-up about it and be like, you know what, we're not going to pay that that kind of attention and therefore um, um, create more of an issue or something along those lines, right? Because, and you know, and here's what I'll say. This wasn't for the Matani or for Scion or for whoever it is that they're trying to specifically maybe target. Maybe they're trying to target the entire organization and that would include us too or something. Um, the people that are up there, actually, that would have gained X are actually a couple of writers who might have written something uh, pretty nice about the whole thing, um, uh, Elizabeth Via and and uh, Fiery Red. So I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe in punishing the organization, and maybe that there are ways of punishing the organization. Um, they could have done it in a way that because remember the writers on TMC, the actual writers themselves are all individuals. They're not like paid on salary types, you know, out there represent. They're they're writers. Right. But, um, oh, but there is a difference between TMC and these other sites out there, and that TMC is trying to be a gaming media site the way that, you know, kind of like a Kotaku or one of these other ones are, right? So so basically what you had here was CCP going, nope, you can't have it. I don't know. I don't know if that's good business for CCP. I don't know if it's really good for everybody. <laughs> Victor, the whole drama failed. Yes. Victor failed. Victor <laughs> yeah, CCP is not here to ruin gaming media. It's here to ruin your <laughs> gaming media. <laughs> that is, uh, well, but anyways, that is look, you know, it is a thing, and I don't mind hitting on it. You know, again, it's been something that TMC has been dealing with for a while. Uh, obviously, as it led up to FanFest, they asked for this. They were denied. Uh, and, 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 you know, from what I can tell, Sion tried to go to bat for, like Dirk said, I mean, again, the people that were wanting the passes were not people that are constantly out there bashing CCP uh, or, or any of the nature, you know, again. But again, they were denied, and that's fine. You know what? Like you said, it's their party. They can do what they want. It just does make them look a little bit, you know, shady. Uh, now, honestly, honestly, I think that there are two issues here, okay? That, you know, the, there are two wrongs in the situation, so to speak. Um, uh, uh, I may disagree with CCP, you know, doing that because I think it's – in a way, I think it's kind of petty. But – um, you know, they, maybe they think they're fighting petty with petty and like, that's the thing to do. We can all shoot rubber bands at each other or some shit. I don't know. Um, on the flip side though. Okay. And this is just me speaking. Okay. If it had happened to me and it was my business. Okay. I wouldn't be announcing it out there. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be putting it out there to people where it became public knowledge or anything along those lines. I would just let it slide and I would move on from this and I would try to, you know, I don't know. Do what it is I think is right to uh, to uh, I don't want to say get back in the good <clears throat> graces of CCP because as a true gaming site it shouldn't be about getting into the good graces of any one of the games that you cover or anything like that. But for the business perspective, um, I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe you know. Inward reflection. Yeah, and uh, Oshai was saying uh, in chat earlier that uh, he was saying no troll, but maybe we shouldn't release articles that basically claim CCP is committing felonies. Uh, I don't think that was... Because the, the decision for them not to give the media passes or the press passes was way before that article was even thought of. Or Correct, written. yep. So th it, that article had nothing to do with it. All right, real yeah. quick, let's hit some of these other things real quick, you know, because, again, uh, yeah. I want to say... Um, the... the um, I've been real big. I, I was... Dirk will tell you, Drake knows. Um, I was a real big... Uh, I had hopes, man. What's up with your knuckles, bro? What? Oh, dry skin. I got a dry skin right there. That brown stuff? Yeah. You just need some moisturizer. It's not like honey mustard or anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like face? you punched the shit out of something, but only hit two of your knuckles. <laughs> you look like you woke up on the Down Syndrome side of your bed today, Dirk. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no. Um, I really did have high hopes for Dust 514. Um, and that shit happened. Uh, and then they did this whole thing, and we had this Legion. It's not Dust. It looks just like Dust. But it's not Dust. It'll be on PC. That went away. They even gave up the trademark for that. But it was announced today. Project Nova is in. It is going to be a first-person shooter. It is going to be in the world of Eve. It is going to be a, successful, a spiritual successor to Dust. It will not be planetary-based. It will be space-based. Third time's a charm? 
Um, that I, I imagine that means, which is kind of good because shooting in stations. Here's what shooting I want to say. I want to bring this back up. It has been we talked about this before, and I'm to the point where I, I'm more to a don't fucking care point on this. Is I w I have always liked the idea of them integrating these multiple facets of of games into the one big Eve universe to where little things are incorporated affect other little things that you know so that maybe i don't want to jump into a fucking stealth bomber and go uh siege fleet but i could jump onto my fucking character and go help take over a uh i hub or go take down a station service from the inside with my uh my my heavy assaulter or whatever they're called i want to be um, able to be launched out of an airlock towards another airlock and fly through space and land in the other side and then start taking it over yeah but what uh, i'm saying is that's that's like in, what was that dark matter JC Denson asking if it's going to be on PC. Yes, it will be on PC. It's PC only. Uh, it will be free to play. Shots. Uh, Shots. The thing about For the For some, fan people, fest. some people were like, you know, back even back in the day, they're like, look, uh, you know, e players will not will not be down for anything that affects their game that they don't have control over, such as somebody being in the first person. I say, fuck that. Who cares at this point? I don't. I don't believe that to be true at all. You you can't even rely on the guy that's supposed to be in your alliance to help you defend your space let alone anything else. So what? don't tell me, you know, I don't even care about this mentality of, well, uh, as long as it doesn't affect my game as an EVE player, you being a, d you know what? Let it affect the game. I think I that is a good way to do, uh, I've always thought it's a good way to do any kind of transfer of ownership of, uh, of, of structures or TCUs or iHubs or stations or, you know, knockout station services. And if you don't like it, you should have hired a better mercenary corps. I'm going to go, I I'm going to go back to what we said before though. Okay. Build it in the fucking basement, okay? Uh, in, yeah. the, in the deep, dark room at the bottom of the volcano up there in Iceland, okay? Don't even tell us. Just build it. Put out the 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 playable yet maybe unquite un, unquite finished product, so that we so that we we're coming into it going wow, not coming into it with pre made expectations that have ratcheted up over three or four years. Right. Well, and uh, as far as the, I mean, I'm all for uh, having the games affect each other. I, I've always been for that. And I've said it before a long time ago, as long as it doesn't, as long as they're not dependent on each other, they can synergize with each other and affect each other. And you can maybe like benefit uh, various, the, the two different games together. But as long as like one isn't dependent to where like, we can't take this station unless we have Nova guys ready to go in. Then that that's kind of a game breaking thing at that point. I don't think it's a game breaking thing at all. They, they won't it, it do needs, that. It could be implemented in a place that you know what it, it's there to help. And yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Is they don't need to as long as they're not dependent. But if they like amplify each other, like we can take the station without them, but with them we can do it faster or better. Then then definitely. By the way, we should probably mention something. Uh, uh, number one, Grath Telkin is not showing up yet. So if anybody knows where Grath is, where oh where oh where is Telkin? Uh, if anybody knows where Grath is. Um, well, I'm going to go hit it myself. But um, but also, we have got uh, Urziel99 here, who's a member of MX, uh, MPX Gaming Corp. Are you a director? No, I think you're just a member now. Um, yeah, I'm just a member. You hear him on Podside quite a bit. Um, he's somebody who has probably followed this FanFest thing, and I hope that he, like, you know, fucking speaks Actually, up more I here. Mean, I want Durhadur to come on. Durhadur, I believe that. Isn't that DHD Eve in chat? Isn't that Durhadur? Uh, I don't Is know. It? I think so. I think Durhadur should come on. The FC of our hearts. And then, uh, and then we've got Drunk Canadian, otherwise known as Paul Sullivan. He's one of the streamers here on TMC. He is, uh, he is one of, I believe, seven members of uh, TNT. Six now. Six now. <laughs> oh, six? You guys don't even have a valid All that's Alliance like tournament team. team. <laughs> Wiblet is going to be flying Lodgy in, a, uh, in the Alliance tournament team. Yeah, it's going to be a Ray, Wiblet, Borox, Dante, and I. <laughs> We're on, we're on, no, we're on TeamSpeak, buddy. No, no, we use Skype for the video, but all the comms is TeamSpeak. But if you want to get on Skype, uh, well, uh, that would just be difficult right now. But no, no, yeah. no. Dur -Dur says you use Skype, and I don't go on non push talk. No, 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 no. We're on push talk. Oh no, we're totally on push talk, bro. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Never, like, totally. Never, never not. No, but not push talk. Never not push to talk. Never not push to talk. Um, unless you're unless you're playing the division, and then it's like it's yeah, just because too hard goddamn, it's, it's too hard for me to. I would know right now. At the same time, X up. If you're push to talk, is your left control key? Right now, X up and Twitch. If, yeah, you, if you're up. push to talk, I'll beer up. X up. If your left control key is your push to talk. Seriously, yeah. who does that? I can't use no. my mouse to push to talk. Uh, okay, because my mouse buttons are they're for shooting. They're for doing other things.
Yeah, what about your middle mouse button? Because I got fingers. No. I'm trying to I don't shoot three fingers that I use. I'm an old man. I got two fingers at Look at best. that. Everybody. Thumb, maybe. You know what happens when you do that in, in the yeah. division? Hey, guys, I'm going to. Oh, well, I just jumped over this car. I'm dead. Can you come res me? I was yeah, up on this I, upper I level. I literally just jumped into the LMB. I, I use my thumb <laughs> buttons for push to talk because uh, the middle mouse button, I don't trust it. Same here. Um, what do you mean you don't trust but, it? It's a oh, button. Somebody says left. You, you can still because right. I you spilled, can use right uh, control I, to the target. I, I spilled Mountain Dew on my mouse, and it the the button on my middle mouse button is uh, shaky at best. So get a new mouse. No pores. <laughs> no, this is like this is an expensive <laughs> Victor mouse. Says, I my push, to, my push to talk key is Mitten's hand up my ass, telling me what to say. <laughs> No, um, <laughs> when when Mitten when Mittens wiggles his finger <laughs> on on Victor's prostate, Victor just spurts stuff out. <laughs> Well, not everybody uses it, but enough people use it that they get what we're saying. That in the division, the control key is your dive over shit. Uh, I'm bad enough in the division to like have to like deal yeah. with more fingers I, on my mouse just trying to talk. I, I never use control because control is such a key function key in every game. It's you. It's a. It's something in every game. It's your couch. It it's is your literally sprint, the key. It's your. It's it, literally it the key target. that I remap on everything because my push to talk is always control. Oh no, always I never remap it because it's it's such a nice, easy keystroke. That, I think uh, you should give Durha Dur the, the the comms there. He said his mic's broken, so he yeah, said, well, uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, fucking broken. Right like control, broken from Aurea, yeah, How do you, Araya? How do you do He's right control? Got a left Your fingers key. aren't even like near that. He's probably left-handed, so he uses the left-handed. Well, I guess mouse if he has a left tandem. mouse, yeah. He's probably got a left-handed keyboard. I don't know. I don't know if that's, <laughs> is, is I don't know if that's I'm disgusting. Use caps lock. Oh my god. Then you gotta apologize <laughs> all the times you fucking scream. Oh, caps lock is the worst. <laughs> caps oh. lock doesn't work as a as a key like that. Anyway, I was just like I said, just throwing that out there. Like, look, I'm just curious because I've used control forever. Uh, and somebody goes, we well, have yeah, a controls is targeted. Yeah, but so is right control. So there are a lot of things that yeah yeah. I know a lot of people out there think that, you know, because we do a show like this and when, that we know a lot of things, but we don't know some things. And sometimes we ask questions like, what button do you use to, for your push to talk? <laughs> because how would we know what you use? I like on my iPad, it's real simple. But it's push talk is. We all know it's You know what the push to talk on the iPad is? It's a little microphone button that you go push. <laughs> Well, I can't believe we've got so many vision, people though. tonight during FanFest. I would think there would be more people at FanFest. Uh, I just wanted to do this. I've been doing this the last viewers. couple of weeks. Look, if, if you listen to this show, uh, you know, go out there, tweet to whoever follows you. Let them know you're listening to the Open Comm Show. Tell them how bad it sucks or how great it is. That's your personal preference. It's nice to get out there and see the different uh, comments that people have about it. You know, so if you like the show, great. If you don't like the show, even better, because you're still fucking sitting here listening to it. So great. We uh, win. <laughs> um, I, as far as FanFest, I don't know, because, like, at this time over there, it's like super late at night. They're out doing the party shit right now, so there's nothing really streaming unless you want to watch reruns. Uh, what time but... is it there now? Well, yeah, it's it's pushing on what two thirty in the morning. Yeah, yeah. It, the, everyone's probably getting wasty faced and uh, is, stumbling is, down the street. Uh, is Nash Cadaver and Bob Mod still stuck in that elevator? Were they, Were they stuck in, in an elevator? elevator? <laughs> you didn't see those? All I Dude, know, no, all I in... saw them was on the 07 show with Nash no, giving the group. They went down and had dinner or something, and they, when they were leaving, they got in the elevator. They got stuck for like three hours or some shit. Ah, uh, they probably oh, consummated they... that 07 shit then. Yeah. Was that not, oh, hold on. Was that not awkward for everybody else? Uh, Bob Mon uh, sitting on the one side, and then Nash Cadaver sitting right next to him with his arm around him the whole time. Just with, his like, leg, with his leg the... like folded up. It was like they were cuddling, <laughs> watching Netflix, and chilling. That's what, that's what, uh, <laughs> firefighters should do because they're the ones that respond to elevators shit like that they're like don't like on the intercom don't worry we're gonna get you out of there just hold tight and then they should flip on the music from ghost when they're doing the pottery scene t <laughs> <laughs> bassa says yeah, you look I like uh, and tweeted it something out. other i don't know i'm like god damn bob mon's a minor nash be chill <laughs> oh my god but yeah, I think I tweeted out quite a bit that uh, that they got stuck in the elevator. I think for a couple of hours. Um, and every every tweet was just Nash Cadaver's face and the little slit, like "Help me." <laughs> All right, so, you know, you know, so let's go back. So like you know, like I said, it was about an hour in when you know when the keynote started. Um, there was a bunch of blah blah blah. Um, unfortunately, I had to take my daughter. To the, remember the other day when I had to take my daughter to the orthodontist and they switched it till Thursday? It was supposed to be Thursday afternoon. And then my wife tells me yesterday, oh, by the way, uh, she can't do it Thursday afternoon. She's got to do it tomorrow morning. I go, the FanFest stream is on. 
but anyways, so I had to do that. So I had it on my thing. I, I had it on my uh, my mobile, and I was pumping it through my my car speakers, and I was listening to it. But I got back and I started to watch some more of it. And one of the things that they talked about was that uh, man, can you guys do you guys know that the level of activity has picked up substantially lately? Not only has the level of activity picked up lately, uh, well, we're currently in the middle of the biggest war in Eve's history, which I think by numbers we we probably are. Um, we've uh, I think we've had the most NPC kills recently. Um, February was Eve's biggest revenue month in history, which is good, okay, which is good. But it also corresponds highly to another thing, most ISK transacted in Eve, okay? Because, of course, February was the release of the whole skill Still extractor yeah, thing, right? Um, you, know, you, you know, so, again, statistics are nice. Numbers are nice when you get to what's behind it. Now, you know, the question will be, was that a spike? Is that something that's sustainable over time? Um, we've already talked about how last year was, was a uh, very profitable year for CCP. CCP is in a very healthy uh, financial condition right now, which is great for all of us who, you know, anybody out there who was worried about lights getting turned off and shit like that. Uh, O'Shia says something that I, I want to touch on real quick. Uh, I watched the whole damn thing, and I was kind of mad other than those Pirate Faction Capitals, um, which was actually pretty cool, the new Pirate Faction Capitals. Uh, Hilmar being like, I want to combine. So uh, Hilmar, I guess, at some point said he'd like to combine the Tranquility and Serenity service. I have, I have been down with that since day one. As long as they can do it in a way that is appeasing to both is player base. The Chinese one? That's yes. not quite uh, what he was saying. Yes, he would like to. We would all like that. We would all like there to be a single server and whatnot. There, there are two things that hold that back. One, which side do you screw by they hold space on their side in control of things. We hold space in control of things on this side. How would you would you absorb them? What about this? Hold on. What about this? And what, then the other one on, is on, called wait. the Chinese government, which is like the bigger issue. No, no, hold right. on. No, the Chinese government is not the issue at all. Chinese government is absolutely not an issue. That's not the issue. I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, what about fine. this? What about this? What if they go to the Chinese and say, look, you will not get to keep your sovereignty space you own. You won't. But your your ships, your ISK, your skill points, all of that will transfer over, and we will drop it in the nearest low sec to where it is now on your server. So well, then that's good. Why, why, the Chinese would be like, why do we have to lose our shit? Why don't you lose but, your yo, shit? All they're losing is their space. You know, I mean, that is a big oh, deal, okay. but... That's round bad. eye, why we lose our space? Yeah, and, yeah. Anyways, have you guys, is... have you guys seen what Rooks and Kings had put out about that? What they so put they had out the about idea that? Of, they had an idea of having uh, the two servers connected through wormholes that uh, only spawned at certain times. And if you came in from the Chinese server onto, like, the U.S. server... Your ship would start to decay, but if you came through on a pod, you could buy ships and stuff, and then dick around on both servers, and then eventually have one unified server where nobody has sov and everybody can wormhole into it, and then eventually let the other two servers die. Okay, people say the Chinese government. The Chinese government is not the problem. The Chinese government has why. signed. They've already signed um, open and unlimited uh, deals for for network use for this. The problem with it is is there's the is 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 the okay. The way that subscriptions are done in China are not done through CCP. They're done through a third-party company. But that's forget, not... Hold on, hold on. That is the problem. Because okay. what this third-party company does is it does... It is... It's the, it, it is... Um, I guess it is partly the Chinese government because they say you have to use, like, a service in China to do this. But this service in China not just does... It doesn't just do EVE. It also does a ton of other games. And it uses the same um, uh, currency or whatever you want to call it, token, for all the games. So technically, you can and you, and you can cash out these other games in, in the Eve as well. So that's the big problem. Is Sion Kumatomo says it's about the government. They have different rules there for gaming stuff. They which don't really comes. Well, no, they, they do. They did up uh, until okay. like three years ago when they signed their. I'm telling you, go look. They signed all that shit away. The problem is this third party company. That basically lets Chinese people RMT for real because you can take what you've earned in, in, in other games and convert it to ISK because they allow you to do it through their well, they have system. They, they do have different ways of charging for over there, okay? So it's like, you know, you can buy like a week's worth of game time or, you know, whatever it is. But, and yes, apparently you can convert these tokens and there is re reverse redeemability and things along those lines. However... 
I have not heard anything with regard, uh, you know, to anything out of CCP that the Chinese government has changed anything to the point where it would allow them to merge and, these two. And it's not just with gaming; it's with all like their internet is regulated by the government, and so, uh, there's a lot Again, of that, that has are, all been treated away. They had a big to do I, about it about three I years ago. Yes, yes, we fucking. They're still about pretty it. heavily controlled. They are, over their yes, but not, devices. but but again, but not for the games. There have been a lot of treaty signed. We talked about this three years ago when it happened. They basically opened the doors. Jisumi says shots. Jisumi the, Jisumi again, says yeah, the problem is, shots. no, this third-party company is not owned by the government. It's just one of the stipulations is that shit has to be done through a third-party Chinese government. And by doing so, it creates an RMT loop because this company uh, runs services for a lot of other games. And all these other games, you can put money into the game and take money out. And therefore, you can technically, through this process... RMT the shit out of out of the money they make in Eve. Jaden, what do you want? What do you want to bet BC on this? That it has to do with the government, not uh, I not would the bet a lot. Method. That's the whole reason why it's not, not just Eve. China is isolated in so many. Uh, I bet whatever things. you want, because again, they 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 signed a shitload of deals to, to open this up back when they started becoming Western, uh, you know, whatever they call it, uh, fucking civilized, uh, and they civilized. and they signed all this shit away. Uh, for I don't for know open trees. I think they may have made some concessions. I'm not sure, but uh, I mean, they, China is an island when it comes to the Wait, internet. Wait, P42, I think, is saying the same thing. He said, "Does anyone else other than me? This is old news." Yes, I'm just saying this happened three years ago. They they, they signed it, a bunch of treaties. It may have. They, they signed have. a bunch of treaties, opening up their country to people so, like CCP to offer their services. Which, so what you're saying, so what you're saying, just let me get this right. So what you're saying is it has nothing to do with the government's control of communication devices from their populace. That is not that the, go, the, yeah, that's not that the big problem. The, borders. But the big problem is that there is a monopoly on the intermediary who sells game time to I the Chinese populace. That. I guess you could say that. That is the biggest issue is, is yes, that there, you have to use a third party that is, I guess, Chinese, a Chinese service in. Non-Russian vodka, people. Non-Russian. Non -Russian. Because, yeah, just, just no communism at all. Trump vodka. Except for hold on, hold on. Again, see, this is the problem. Novita says Chinese government won't sign open deals with Google. They won't do it. See, yes, see, Ch China did it with a lot of telecommunications and a lot of video games. Maybe they, maybe they don't want Google having a, a thing. I'm just telling you for a fact. Have we, th have we thought about when we can bring the North Korean server oh into my God. our universe? <laughs> Well, what, actually, what I thought was funny today was the way that uh, was the way that Hilmar kind of put it was that who knows maybe one day we'll have a wormhole that will go from here and you'll go through and then it'll do and I'm like I'm like yeah let's see here so when when our ship goes or our pod goes through the wormhole and comes out the other side um, we'll be thrown into a prison <laughs> and, but when the, <laughs> but when their pod tries to go through that wormhole they'll just be executed. <laughs> Did I uh, literally that I executed. Well, now hold on. Uh, with the when it comes to the Chinese server, it wasn't even the government stuff that I was saying no about. Like, don't merge them. Have you seen the Chinese server? I mean, it was like Raider, their Grant economy hasn't come is on. Jump in comms, bro. Yeah, their, their economy yeah, is their so economy fucked is... because of all the botting yeah. and the all that they've done. I mean, Plex over there is like what ten billion per Plex. Freelancer rice vodka may in fact be gluten free, but uh, but Tito's vodka is also is also gluten free. I mean, so for any of you out there with glutenitis um, or a heavy like gluten consumption that your doctor is telling you to like lay back on or whatever, celiac um, is, is what I think that's called. I'm not being serious, Drayden. I'm using well, words oh, that don't make oh. any sense for gluten. Oh. Well, okay. Glutenitis, that's a thing. Glutenitis, Everybody, yeah. uh, <laughs> apparently, you know, oh, gluten free. Oh, that's got to be better for me. No, no. For like 97 percent of the population, it makes no difference at all. Except that too much gluten will make you a fat motherfucker. But anyways, um, yes, you know what? It would be nice to have a single server. It would be nice to find a way. I would even say, you know what? When they come in, depending on the proportion of players they, you know, they have, I don't give a shit. Fucking wipe half the map. You know, flip a coin as to which half the map like has to get removed to make room for the you know for you know for for the migrants that came from the other server or whatever. I got no problem with that. And then let's and then let's get it on, and we can have the Russian forces over here, the Chinese forces over here, and the forces of freedom from around the world like down here. And we man, we could, we could battle this shit out, fix world poverty, the environment, and fucking everything. <laughs> 
Well, that's what uh, the Rooks and King guy was talking about with the Unity server. If they ever had that, you could import your character, your skills, and all your assets, but no SOV would be claimed, and there'd be like a time period where nothing's claimable, and then it's like free-for-all. So it's just a whole new server, and then everybody's imported into there, and they can all fight over it. Yeah. What if every so, day was just capture the flag? Yeah. You mean like they, now? Like now. Yeah, pretty much like now. <laughs> just make like a battle zone, uh, or make a dark zone in EVE. Oh god. International Dark, dark Zone. We already we're, have that. We're gonna Null rename Null the we're gonna rename Nullsec to the Dark Zone. <laughs> Speaking of uh the division, have you guys seen that new glitch people are doing with the DPS? We were alluding to the division. We weren't actually speaking about it, but since you raised its name. So, have you heard of this that people are doing now? Dude, there's so many fucking glitches over there. I swear to God. And and this is one of the things that I do love about CCP. If there is a glitch here that somebody exploits beyond reason, they fucking crack down on that shit. Apparently over there, it's like... Glad you got, fixes glad you got rich. We hot fixed this shit. Oh, shit. Another glitch that you just figured out and like reaped, raped the shit out of, too. But what people are doing now is, you know that capable skill or competent where uh, damage is raised by 15% for 10 seconds after using a skill? If you keep switching weapons, that stacks and resets the 10 second timer. So guys are getting into the millions and billions of DPS. You know what? A billion DPS is, is pretty much where you need to be to run missions on like hard. I mean, like, to get your Phoenix credits every day. But, but I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into that. But, however, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. If it wasn't FanFest, I was going to wear this tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm late. My Gone Rogue oh, t-shirt. Yeah, grass late. here? Grass oh, here. Yeah. Gra grass, yeah, like, before Raider jumps Jeff in there, I got to get over there. Shit. I'm getting, like, <laughs> Jeff's like, hey, you forgot. Dude, this, you're, they're, they're chipping out at you in local or some shit. And I'm like, what? Oh, fuck. I'm old. I forget things. That's just it. We're all old, man. It's, it's the old men that are here tonight. The By kids way, are, Jeff Raider's just kids are at Space fucking Camp. mad. Wow. Yeah, he I said... I introduced Jeff Raider to Mean Joe Green, uh, the offensive line eating machine, and uh, he hates him. <laughs> He said that you and BC need to go head to head in uh, in in Madden. He thinks it's no. Well, he's he's me. He said it'd be a retard slap fight. That he's not. <laughs> but I'll play he's, him. I told him uh, I'll play him. I'm not here. Here, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this up there now. Look, I, I've got no power, right? But Scion could maybe maybe rubber stamp this. This is what we do. You and BC for the pride. of... Of the war, oh, fuck you guys no. are the champions, but we use Madden. Bro, I'm 40 years old. I don't have the hand-eye coordination to be a really good PlayStation gamer. So Jeff's <laughs> young, nimble Asian fingers tend to curb stomp me. <laughs> my buddy, I take my PlayStation over his house, and he's like, "Yeah, bring it over. Let's do it." He fakes me out. He's like, "I've never played Madden before." I'm like, "Okay." And it didn't dawn on me that he has three kids that are all around, like, between 12 and 15. And, uh, yeah, he beat the shit out of me. It was, like, 65 to 7 by the time I left his fucking house. I was like, I'm fucking going home. <laughs> Raider so doesn't, nah. like, he doesn't give you any, like, handicap points or, like, nothing? No, fuck no. Oh, Jeff, fucking Jeff Raider, is man. a handicap. Fucker. Oh man, there's been a couple times I've been close to beating him. See, that's why bowling's badass, because they got that whole handicap. Bowling and golf, right? They got the handicap built in. <laughs> Maybe that's what Eve needs to be for some of us veterans. You know what I mean? We get like a handicap, like a resist bonus or something like that. Oh, you're a newer player? You're like, or a younger player? You've got, uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, you're you're going to give up 12% uh, resists. <laughs> Yeah, I want to know what your fucking APM is. How many times are you clicking on stuff? Yeah, no you know shit. To play against me? <laughs> if your APM is high, your APM is directly correlated to your fucking resist handicap. Yeah, I, did you guys watch the FanFest stream? Like, that was what I did as soon as I got home from work. It's kind of nerdy, but I, yep. I fast forward uh, I didn't, too much I was the parts. at work. Or sleeping, actually. I think yeah, it started at like stuff. 5 in the morning for me. I'm going to give, I'm going to give Grath. I'm going to give Grath 60 seconds here to fucking crow over... The PL stacking on the Council of Stellar Nullsec Management. Oh, come on. 60 uh, seconds. 60 yeah, seconds. I don't, even, I don't even want to crow over that much. It's fucking amazing, right? Like, we voted, I guess. I guess that's what you can tell from, from <laughs> that, yeah? Like, fuck the rest of you. We voted. Uh, and it worked. And we, like, I mean, to be fair, like, new bands 
I guess in Snig or whatever. But like I, well, I don't have any say over it. Like I don't fuck with Hard Knocks. So they he, that's David. Those wormhole dudes elected him, and I don't have. I don't take any credit for that, so that's not really fair. Though I will take credit for Pfeffer because I miss Pfeffer, and I wish he was. He posted like a fucking mongoloid super baby, but he was a cool dude. Uh, if you've ever, if you've never been in an alliance with Pfeffer, he's pretty fucking amazing. The rest of it's stunning, but they all have to go sit with Zenaria, so that's. I guess that's their punishment. Uh, I don't know if that's. You know, people say that. I mean, I got, look, I'd say this. It was shocking. I got home. I was like, what? I, I, when I got home, I found out there were. Basically, five PLCSM candidates and Prince was dead. Uh, it's been a rough afternoon, I would say. I don't really I, know how to. I think the bigger deal for for Pan Fam is probably the fact that Prince is dead. Look, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, even, like, look, this, like, look, we've had Zener on the show. I mean, that guy is not that bad. I mean, I don't know if he has his time to splurge. I met him, I met him out in he Vegas. always gave me a bunch of shit. Like, it bothered the fuck out of me constantly in games. Yeah, when but I who got doesn't bother you? In Vegas, I went to go to, like, actually walk right up and talk to him, and he was. Just this fucking gigantic Ichabod Crane looking mute motherfucker. He was, wouldn't talk he? back to me, so I even yeah. hugged him. He's like, he's like, like, I, that's where the picture of me he's like what, 6'5? I'm so fucking drunk. Yeah, yeah he's as tall. He's, up he's there. a tall. That motherfucker should play it. Like, he should be somebody's forward for sure. Like, he is a yeah. tall, bit spindly dude. Yeah. Now, now, and, and you know what? I, I actually had some good conversations out there. Totally not what I was like expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe something that was like, like he spoke in forum words or something like that. But, um, um, I just five, you guys talk. Five, you say a fucking word. Uh, you know, well, five, ten minutes. I got a picture with him somewhere. I should probably find that. But, um, uh, me, me you, and Drayden, uh, me, Drayden, and, and, and him. But, anyways, uh, five, ten minutes. He kind of. He kind of reminds me in this respect of like Goblin. I can get like through the first couple paragraphs of a Gevlin Goblin article, and then all of a sudden it goes crazy. The deeper, the longer you talk with Zenuria, he really he really gets off into some things that I think he thinks are really deep, and and in some cases they actually are, but they're like kind of off topic and things like that. And I think that that's really what kind of like you know, oh god, I mean, see, damn it, people have me using this fucking triggered word now too. <laughs> trigger. That, that's what triggers some people. You know what I mean? That's what tripwires yeah. on some people out there. Is it's like it, you know, it, it just goes it, like it goes too far in certain directions, and then like off the rails. It, I mean, it, it was fun. Like, wait, Grinna, thanks for following. The show's over. Jared Jar wants to go play chivalry. Let's go. It. See y'all later. Ooh, peace. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> peace, bitches. I remember um, we was, we were doing that the war. What was that? The Fountain War? Was it? Where it was like we're capital man. Uh, all right, let's let's go hit us with chivalry. And it would be, <laughs> and we go play chivalry. They'd be like, so what are you talking to? Everybody's like, oh, tab back to Eve. <laughs> ah, drone yeah, assist, the, uh, baby, drone assist. <laughs> but, but uh, no, I mean, like, I, had, it was weird because I went over and we were talking with him. I had no clue who he was. And it's like, oh, this is Zanuri. I was like, oh, this is the guy that I've heard is like a super douchebag from everyone else. And he didn't seem that way. Uh, the main thing when I was talking with him that I, like couldn't stop focusing on is he kind of bounces when he talks he kind of he's kind of one of those guys that like just kind of like is always like hopping like, kind of maybe a little oh fidgety he's fidgety he's like switching you, you switching, do that switching, switching, so bad guys, you this, rock like, bouncy you. mode yeah i don't get yeah, you're, see, you're kind of a rocker though it must be you tall guys you're well, a rocker. no it's i'm a rocker because i have the chair that rocks and, and it's the same thing with that why well, i can't watch well, i really honestly can't watch crass kitty is because she is constantly moving side to side and I don't get motion that's, sickness, but that drives that's me. That's the fucking... coke, though. That's the coke. You can't. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Coke, coke is a disability, and it's you know you, you can't even talk about it. But um um I, what I will say about this CSM, oh god, I haven't said a lot about a CSM in a fucking while. This may be the most null sec dominated CSM in the history of. CSMs. There may have been more percentage-wise, oh, but they only had seven members back then. Um, in the Matani, what was that? CSM six, the, where the Matani was chairman, and Isn't that and seven or eight, six or seven, one of those two. No, I think it was six. I think it was six. Anyways, um, there may have been more then, but it, not by much. Certainly not in the era of fourteen members. This is by far the worst diversified from an Eve perspective CSM that I can remember. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much it's all wormhole and and zero zero guys, pretty much. I mean, there's like like one wormhole guy. The rest, one wormhole guy, Steve Renukin, and and no. 
Well, new fans, a new fans, hard knocks man. That's a wormhole guy. Like you, know, know, him, like you can you can say that all you want. Like he like he's a he, you can call him a PL. Well, I was counting. Know, that. I was counting. Wormhole. Who's the other wormhole guy then? Wait, wasn't there? Come on, you're gonna make me watch this whole video game. Uh, there's like a CVA guy. Then there's all the PL dudes. Oh, that's right, like CVA. Yeah, CVA, CVA, which I will give you is kind of. It, I'm, I, no, I will never call them low no sec. I will never call them high sec. For, it, there's no other wormhole guy except the guy from Hard Knocks. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Whoops. Bowser oh, well. Pancake donates Loud three dollars and says Zanuria and Digi should be in the same stream together. I mean, somebody said they wanted me to debate Digi about something on Twitter one time. I thought that was hilarious. I don't think I've ever heard somebody of speak. Hold on. No matter who comes up, they go, "I want to see you debate Graph." Yeah. <laughs> You're like apparently <laughs> the guy to debate the people that other people want to debunk. You just want me to yell at people, that's all. Look, um, that's exactly the, what you know, want to boil I down think to. it's just fine. I'm fine with the CSM turning out like the way it did. Because, again, I think... Cheers to CSM 11. With, the, with yeah. the capital changes and the Citadel changes and all the stuff that's coming up around that for the foreseeable future into the next couple of months. Um, as I said before, when somebody made the comment that, you know, this next CSM is not really going to be of any type of... Um, uh, whatever. I said, no, I think it absolutely is. There's going to be a lot of work for them to do to make sure that these Citadels and capital changes in the new capital ships and especially these pirate faction capitals and stuff that's coming out are, you know, balanced and, and, and you know, do what they need to do. So I think it's actually a really good thing that it is predominantly no sick. I mean, I I don't want people you to never go crazy know and going say, to come up. I don't want people to go never... crazy and say, oh, yeah, but, you know, they're going to, I don't believe they're going to not look out for low sick. I don't think they're going to not look out for high sec. Uh, those yeah, that's fine. the difference, actually, I think that none of you have talked about, is that this CSM is different in that it has the least amount of non-playing aristocratic faggots on it. Uh, most of the people that are on the CSM this year actually log in. They play Eve, they go blow up and shit in groups smaller than a 1,000. Give it time. Give it time. Uh, yeah, maybe. But, I mean, like, normally we get, like, the fucking... I mean, Scion doesn't fucking play Eve. Matani doesn't fucking play Eve. Half the dudes they've elected don't play Eve. Dude, I'm, I went I'm on a frigate roam yesterday with Scion. What are you talking about? Uh, come on. Really? He was flying a Golem, and I was, like, in a frigate. Lodgy ship. And, okay. Well, like, how he was often Gollum, that? He was, like a, he like was a wrecking bitches. <laughs> like, I mean, like... Yeah. What y'all don't know is I'm Dirk sure. is super got a hard on boner for them new mining barges. He's, like, super uh, duper well, stoked. Anyway, regardless, most of those dudes play, and they're not gigantic chest puffing pieces of shit um so i think it'll be an interesting well again i, I, think, I think it'll give ccp a, an interesting look at this. i think there is a significant amount of the upcoming uh content for the next foreseeable future into near the end of the into the you know end of year that is going to be predominantly zero zero and i am sorry if it feels like those people that are in low sec or in an empire feel like they're being left out uh but luckily i believe i really do believe that we have a group of people here that are not just going to say, you know, cold shoulder the, the stuff about the high sec, you know, what changes need to be done there. Because uh, it looks like well, the next thing they're going to be doing is a little bit, I guess, some more work on industry. I mean, they're bringing out new industry stuff. Um, I so, have really high hopes that people like Hyde and Gorski uh, are some of the people that get to have input on, like, the Tech 3 cruiser changes that we get to play with like i feel like that would be a good thing like i don't care what's in there you say about that. well look i'll tell you i'll tell you what i think about that okay and this is this is my thing seriously hashtag scrap tech three cruisers just get rid of them get rid of them get rid nah, of them they, I, just they just don't work they don't work they they totally unbalance the entire you know uh, they, they totally over. Yeah, they're you know, fixable though. Is, is that like, a move? A move scratch? More yet? tech threes. No. I mean, I mean, not even more. But like, no, 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 like look, I'll tell you what. Okay, hold on, hold they on. Be if you just remove their rigs. Wait, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Grant, hold on. The the new cruisers, the way that they do the cruisers with the different buttons that do stuff. I'd like for them to take the tech three cruisers back to the drawing board and come back and with that, that type That'd of setup. Cool That's fine. But because again, you know, there's more. to the fact of it is, is, and it is, and if you say it's not true, I'm, I'm, broken, just, I'm just gonna have to say I just don't, I can't, I can't no love for you. But Tech Three cruisers just make it so hard for CCP to balance the, you know, the ships that they already have with the uh, the Tech Two cruisers, uh, battle cruisers, um, you know, different types of ships. Well, they, they fucked themselves when they made them, right? They were like for these sure. things are supposed to be good at nothing but able to do everything, and then because of the price that was involved in creating these ships and the fact that there was skill loss. And huge, actual, like mostly just the actual value of the ship comes from like the wormhole guys, like and what they they get out of the ship. If 
if you want a ship to be able to do everything but not be great at any one thing, then it can't be super fucking expensive because nobody wants to fucking pay for that piece of shit. And I lose a skill when I do it. So there was no way they were ever going to be properly balanced. They were always going to be too strong because of what you were asked to give up to get the ship in the fucking first place. And, and, now, <laughs> yes. Like, yes, like, hold on, James. You... I gotta answer the question on Twitch. Yes, this is my baby hand back scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is not that. That is what you pull spaghetti apart with. <laughs> That's what he tosses spaghetti with. Don't let him lie to you. And he scratches <laughs> his back with it. But anyways, yeah. But, no, uh, yeah, yeah. I just don't but, think. I don't think. I think hold, 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 the best hold, hold. way to, to rebalance them. I have a message from the top. Their rig slots because like that would what? allow you to modularly use them like they were supposed to be. Okay. We just have to be careful. We just have to be careful. We can't use. Uh, we can't use uh, um, uh, sexual uh, slurs. Uh, sexually. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. You can't use the F word about people who go a different way. Oh, wow. Because apparently, uh, apparently, we, we, <laughs> apparently oh, right. we, we then won't get a press pass for fucking E Vegas, and that right, right. cannot happen. But oh, no, wow. actually, we can, <laughs> actually, we can lose our Twitch license or something yeah, yeah. like that. Racial but and, if you want to uh, say motherfucker or stars. like whatever, that's like totally chill. Wait. Can you so say wait. douche canoe? How many you can say douche canoe. I'm so confused as to which uh, what word Three I said. Three letters. Right what is that the F word for homosexual, Grant? Without saying. Oh, okay. It. Well, he said like he said motherfucker, and I thought maybe I said fucker, and that was bad or something like that. Oh, I don't no, know. No, he said like I can I can conjoin the word, but I I can't <sighs> leave fuck alone. Twitch is a rough place, bro. <laughs> yeah. Twitch is a rough Victor place. Victor Fell says so. GI Joe date rape memorial is bad. No. Where else are you gonna <laughs> no. go? No. No, but you just can't say he's a f. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, Grant, Fuck. calm your shit down, son. I got. God damn, Grant, this ain't PL comms. We're not out yeah, there no rolling, yeah, rolling yeah, with the boys. Man, I don't. Oh, I I, that's a that's a verb in common usage in my house. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. But anyways, um, so overall, I think the CSM is um a bit skewed in a bad in a bad way. Okay, I got you. Know, I gotta say, uh. It is just overpopulated. It is not representative of the game of Eve, which it never will be because high sec is a place that cannot unify under unless it's under extreme circumstances. And one of those extreme circumstances is uh, Mike Azariah when he ran for a certain number of years and lost, but finally caught on and then proved himself enough to where they bounded behind him or banded behind him and voted for him. Um, Steve Renukin, kind of, in a way, kind of the same thing, but I think he ran on a different thing, got in on on some null sec platform. His platform is third party development. Well, well, I don't know how much of that it was at first, um, but I know that certain null sec platforms did bring him into it and kind of. But the uh, I look at I, I look at high sec and I look at even parts of low sec as being kind of the the fragmented independent vote out there and it's really hard for kind of grassroots efforts to build up null sec wormholes these are places that are naturally organized uh, just for how they play the game and then become you know we naturally didn't though, right? no no like, I you know, know that's that you not didn't. a thing for PL we no I know I know vote, and there's right? a lot you know and there's a lot of chess beating out there about PL's lineup but then again PL's lineup uh, also has some people in there that I think are generally well. Bob Mon is kind of like well known um, amongst people. People like names they recognize. Bob Mon is a recognizable name. Um, you know, you, you know, there are some other ones out there that are like that, and it certainly helps them among what is both low information voters, meaning that they don't really require a lot of good information in order to vote for somebody, but also a low information kind of candidate where. Nobody can really go on anything other than what you say. You're like kind of the fucking Donald Trump of, uh, you know, not you, but like <laughs> most of these candidates are like the Donald Trump. This is what I'm going to do. It's going to be fucking great. When my platform is there, it's going to be great. Making Eve great again. Wait, here that, you go, Derek Drayton. A, that's that's the Nuria's platform. Drake Pose, I'll get the close up. Word, you ready? It, right? Close up. <laughs> what the f but yeah, anyway. When so, I closed uh, my camera for Skype for a second, y'all got close up on y'all's faces. Oh. I should have made like, a face while doing it. Trading did. Everybody like, oh nice. <laughs> Perfect time for a zoom in. But yeah, so yeah, you know, so overall and, and BC, I totally understand what you're saying because uh, nobody should be surprised um with with one of the with one of the big things that I think it came out of today's keynote, and it kind of overlaps with the CSM in a way. 
so much of what they're talking about relate you know relates to nullsec because so much of what's left to work on is still related to nullsec therefore maybe it's good that we have this giant nullsec csm that's still in place but from time to time things do come up where where Somebody who has knowledge of some other areas, it'd be nice to have them on hand. But we all know that CCP is a better communicator today, and they are reaching out where they need to reach out regarding other things. And maybe the CSM is, in fact, a dying motherfucking entity. Yeah, because they got yeah. the focus groups they seem to like now, right? Like, the focus groups were pretty popular, even if some of their Slack channels seem to be, like, you know, colon cancer uh, in the final stages. Uh, uh, they, yeah, they seem to get more out of that. It almost, yeah, it almost seems like the CSM nowadays is kind of just more symbolic representation kind of like monarchies in european countries nowadays don't really do anything that's not really true either like if you read their logs you get a lot of their sounding off of like they when they they gauge reaction off of the csm Uh, if you read the the i unfortunately i read all those stupid csm wait hold on Uh, graph are you taking shots buddy no come on it's fucking thursday bro i gotta get up at 4 30 in the morning and go tear some lady's bathroom floor out I'm sure, since it was put in 1967, that it's, it's definitely got something that's going to give me cancer later in life. Shots. Excuses. Excuses. Just excuses. Yeah, well. <laughs> I ain't not, taking shots either, but... Never not know. tear a bathroom out while drunk. I'm just saying. I got a different excuse. Y'all know what it is. Okay, we got Scooter. Yeah, we'll see. I, I, I think you'll get more input this CSM if they when they do any kind of ship rebalance. I think that's where we have the most to look forward to. Nothing else really it jumps out or impresses me in any way, shape, or form about any of these dudes. <laughs> other than like a few of them are good at small gang and, and know a lot about ship fitting, so I have hopes that let's, things will get adjusted. Let's do shots for Ray leaving her room and going to a nerd convention. Oh man. Wait, shots for a nerd convention? Okay, wait. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so we get this. I want to read this correct because he asks, he wants to know, he wants us to discuss. Okay, so Blackie Sons says, quite hard to understand for people like you, but you four, what do you think about the POS removal and limitation not of solo players? Uh, real quick, Dirk, I think your mic's muted or something because last time you were trying to talk, nothing came through. I don't was, think I said anything. Uh, Oh, I oh now I can hear it. Like earlier, I, you were. Your I mouth think I was, was moving, just, but no, no, no. I think I was just mimicking stuff. My hands were moving. Oh, like, okay. But it was more a signal to those that were watching me on Skype. If you saw it over on, uh, you know, like a, like a Twitch, blink I'm twice sorry. if you need help thing. Or? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it was a blink <laughs> twice. Nah. Um. So. Um, I don't I, like. I don't feel like removing pos hurts solo players. Like. Do you solo play around your pos? I don't understand. Like it, most, I, I roam solo almost constantly. And do you I'm or do you have coward. somebody there? Do you have a second account with uh with? Uh, no, I don't use any of that stuff. I don't uh, use. I, he's true I use solo. By myself. Yeah, I, I I roll around in three and a half billion ish fits and implants all by myself just because I'm I'm too damn lazy to run a second account. I, I to be perfectly honest, like I have a a perfect link alt right. He sits in station and does nothing. I rarely log him in, so I train cap skills on him so he could be a dread alt. And I'm still too lazy to even use him to do that. I just put the dread on grass and go in that. I I honestly could say that I could probably, other than my Titan, I could now get rid of my third account and not care that much. I just don't. I'm too. I don't. I want to watch a movie on the other Steam. Thanks for the rear following. Read one of my 19 chat windows. Somebody says stealth fart for the win. Who would fart? I mean, are we all on push the top? No, no, it was. Uh... Bell, uh, she was his name. Hold on, Belgian. Wait, Belgian really pancake good? donated three dollars, saying shots because his wife farted in his face. Oh. Whoa. Um, was his mouth open? <laughs> probably. Dirk is talking without hitting the push the top button again. That's a oh my god, I, that that was in fact me pushing the wrong button. Uh, I am trying to use something that I, so that I don't robot, but instead of roboting, apparently if I don't use the right hand, I I'm just silent, which is better than roboting. Three dollars gets you a fart in the face. And a loss of three dollars because you know, I want well, to do a shot. Though. I do want to do a shot. He's done a six dollars. Oh, he's at I, six. Fine. Fuck yeah, it. he did a three dollar donation earlier. Why are so. we so cheap? Why are we like, what is this? Shot of care? Obama shots? What, I mean, what the fuck? All right, I'm, shot I'll, I'll do it because I just want to do it. And with, and we'll toast to him. We'll toast to him. 
Uh, he's talking. Uh, while we're pouring, uh, who is it? Yeah, it's I am pouring. Just, uh, oh, uh, real quick. Uh, F. I know I'm reaching. says, I know. can you put a citadel next to a post? You can put citadels anywhere in space, but they have to, there is a minimum distance they have to be from any structure. Uh, I think it was like 500 or 800. Oh, is it 1,000? Uh, yeah, it, they upped well, it. From it may be 500, but was... you can't put two within 1,000 kilometers. Yeah, of, they, uh, they upped the distance um, from what it originally was going to be, but basically it's to where you cannot have a citadel in Here's range the thing. to shoot at stuff that's by another structure. So you can't let me defend just structures. Let me just citadels. quick answer that question, and that is pauses are not being removed anytime soon. You do not yeah. have to worry about it anytime soon. Uh, right now, we will be debating next year's Fan Fest. Pauses will still be in the game. Unless all of a sudden they accelerate shit way faster than what they're normally capable of doing, we will still have pauses this time next year, prob probably. Don't, yeah, no, like, I, don't I don't think he was asking about... I'm not going to blow you in Vegas if, yeah. if I'm wrong, but... I, I don't think uh, he was asking if pauses were going away. I think well, it was just more questioning like, whether you could defend Vegas. pauses <laughs> with the guns on a Citadel, and no, you won't be able to. You can't anchor a Citadel anywhere where here's you my, can here's shoot. My here's my shot to my man. You know, apparently out there, there's still... Stations are even further away. Stations are even further away, ladies and gentlemen. So, for you know, I'm telling you right now, this time next year, we'll probably still be talking about these things. So you think one day we'll no longer have uh, permanent stations, but it'll just be these citadels and they can be blown up? And I think that's the direction they want to go, but they obviously won't do it until they bring out the other structures because you need, like, the, the production facility one um, and all the other various things, but... I, they I, have maybe? not spelled any of that out. It's all wishful fucking thing. You know right, in NullSec right. what they want to do, right? True, straight-up, sob-holding NullSec. You know what they want to do. NPC NullSec? How do they take it away in NPC NullSec? You can't have these places that might be destroyed and shit like well, that. I think they're owned by NPCs? Because they're owned by NPCs. No, I, no, no, I think right, they're going to so have NPC you, citadels, which can't be destroyed or taken. No, no, look. So no? you remember when they tried to build the one and the OSS blew it up? Like when the NPCs were trying to build the one, and the OSS guys blew it up. Okay, so new. Do you remember that? And like, like yeah. So what happens if they blow up all the stations in Nullsec? The NPCs will then, who are now building Titans, right? Conceivably, could then build their own fucking citadels, right? So it could be an NPC citadel that grants global docking rights, but it could still be vulnerable. And if you blow it up, what's to stop the NPCs okay. from building a new and one? And you know what? And, and they could absolutely do that. They could go back and rewrite the lore and things like I mean, that. That's yeah. how, or, or like, I mean, you that's know, change the lore like, or whatever. If we're all moving off of... Like, if there's, agree, for some dude, reason the lore says we're moving off citadels, that's just an easy fix for them to do it. I, like, I agree that when they disappear in Nullsec... They should di when they disappear in true Nullsec, they should disappear everywhere else. Sure, and I mean the NPCs should take time to build them, and if it gets blown up, to rebuild them, and that forces if a player wants, if a group of players want to live in NPC Nullsec, and the stations there have all been raised, they have to build their own and live in that one until the NPCs get one. Did you hear? The, I don't. See, you listened to it today. Did you hear the statistics of the 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 amount of assets that are like you know locked up in some of yeah. these stations? Okay. Yeah. Do you think that they're going to? Do you think that from a hey I'm a subscriber I'm paying God damn it and I never undock from Jitta four four that they're gonna like transfer that shit over to some dude's citadel? Well, here's the nearby. Thing, though. Here's I, the don't thing that, have, like, I don't maybe, think they'll do. Maybe. I don't think that they'll would do be balls. Because... That would be serious balls. That would it, be bigger balls than Andrew Gruen's talk about how uh, Mole pretty, said our balls. Pretty big chunk of money in conquerable NPC solve, according to that thing on the TV today. Like, of all those hundreds of trades, Huge. Or whatever, a giant chunk of it was in non NPC 00, 0 already. So, I think you'll get people to do it. I mean, like, it's not like when this thing blows up, your shit's gone forever. Your shit's just. In impound, you pay to get it unlocked from impound. Yeah, you have to pay deal. a portion, so some of it might it be it won't get destroyed, but it might if you don't have enough money, it just is going to be inaccessible. It could but suck a dick for your alliance, 20, but to your alliance, twenty percent, right? Twenty five percent or something, I think. Uh, but I, anyway, I think it's recoverable for. I, I don't know if they'll make the the NPC ones destroyable. If they do, because what difference would it be then from regular null sec? It's why would you live in? Um, in a null sec, like an NPC null sec system where all your shit can get Why would you live in a place well, well, that could get shit canned? <laughs> right, right now it's like you live there because you can't get evicted, but why would you go because live somewhere that you can get NPC evicted just as easily as comparable null sec, but you get none of the benefits right. of comparable well, no, null sec? no, you do. Like, what if the, if the NPC citadel is up? That's a place you can live in, just like now, in zero zero. 0 
I mean, I guess it's like a place you can go live in that you didn't have to pay to build it. But other right. than that, it's, you, you don't go. get the bonuses from the iHub. You don't get any of these other bonuses. But you can still mm. get shit canned like if you're in Nelson. But it right. could also have like, like so the NPC citadels will likely have the NPC mission agents in them. So no, it, I mean it has oh, benefits, yeah, that. right? So like, it, I think there's or still there was still a reason, and even maybe even still there's a reason for you to then try and defend the NPCs as they rebuild their fucking citadel. Right. That some asshole. Well, came while Durr Durr is getting the comms info from Drayden. Oh, all of a sudden Durr Durr Dur could be good enough to come. I just on want to say this. Hold on, okay, that. hold on. I, I've been sitting here listening to y'all ramble. Here's my I dropped thing. the F-bomb and called him. What First off, like this signal. I absolutely have no like doubt in my mind. Like the literal F-bomb? The bad F-bomb? Okay, fuck your F-bomb. I'm talking. Shut up. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that their main goal is to fucking just wipe stations completely out. Uh, I mean, I've been against it since day one, but um, it does, it does, just that alone brings up the obvious question of NPC no say, space, what do they do with it? I personally say I don't like the idea that there's this math, this, this amount of space that's out there that you know you can go basically uh you know the equivalent of the eve hostel out in fucking it's an eve hostel out there that you can go camp out of and fuck with people you know and you can do it willy-nilly as free as you please i mean so i mean again the problem is as you develop these more advanced mechanics of the game it brings into question well, what about these other things that just it, and the problem is it compiles issue on the issue on the issue right and then just it's dealing with those and what's the best way to deal with them? Um, and everybody's going to have, Grat's going to have his opinion. Dirk's going to have his opinion. I'm going to have mine. The problem is coming up with something that doesn't totally screw everybody, but is, is kind of like the choice that seems like, it's just, again, and this is coming at it from a player standpoint, not from a CFC or a PL or, 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 or an NC dot standpoint. From a player standpoint, what really just makes more sense for the game? And you know, and you know, and, and that may not be the like most widely accepted decision, but again, they're going to have to do something. I mean, they, they, there's just some stuff that will have to inevitably change as we start converting over from the the stations we have now to these citadels, which is what they absolutely want. Okay, we, got Dur, we got Dur, we got in here. Hey, what's up? Hey, yep. what's up Dur, Dur. I got my mic fixed. It's uh, it's currently hanging from about four pieces of duct tape. So if it rubs against my shirt, <laughs> call me a piece of shit. Okay. We just got all dur her dur in here. <laughs> Is that not one of the best fucking names in Eve? It's dur her dur. It's, it's thoroughly good. I bet you dur her dur doesn't even remember the first time he came on this show. I think this is the first time I came it on. Is the not, it is yeah, not the I first time. I don't remember. I don't remember. That must have been before. I, last time, because I probably did. You that came on the show when we did when we covered the Russian the women the Russian women of Eve. We had you, and Mint Chip and UAX Death. <laughs> I remember that. I I don't think that was a, that was before I was on the show. I think. It was early. I mean, we were that early. Was a early. Long time ago. That's the yeah. That's what that's that's what we had to do. That was just basically was yeah, dur her. Mentioned by saying really weird shit about toe socks for like five minutes yeah. before leaving. I, I think the only time I've ever heard dur her during comms it was uh, I want to say the fountain war, but we were fighting against you there. Weren't we? On a SoundCloud, Dirk remembers. Dirk remembers that because no. that was the day that uh, UAX Death got called out by Shadu for drinking pussy beer. I, yeah. I, no, I, I, I think, was in a fleet yeah, with him, I think and he, I, was, he just kept doing pterodactyl screeches in the mic. Like I think oh, he was yeah. just Dur Her back then. He was still a young guy. He was like Dur Her <laughs> back then. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know, yeah, that was back, you know, when we've been doing this show now, going on almost four and a half, five years, you know. But that was back when we were on Eve Radio. That's probably a year or so into it. But yeah, it was like, everybody goes, you should get oh, Dur Her Dur on there. It was the same show. That was like centuries ago. Yeah, well, it's pretty much the same people, yeah. <sighs> We're old men, man. You know, it's like you grew up in Eve, and then like you get old, and literally you should die while playing Eve. But oh, what the fuck? Nobody's just mad to enough to do that. To, like test social incentive that I was on a stream, and then someone already broadcasted it to all. So uh, <laughs> sorry, Twitch chat. Uh, oh, I said I heard be, this story this on a pretty brutal. Evidently, uh, oh, that was it made it to shit on Kugu back in the day. That show or something? Because you know, Shai said I heard ah, this. Ah, Kugu. Oh, shit on Kugu was pretty good. Yep. But, uh, but so, so what do you think? I mean, look, as you were joining the channel, I was basically saying, look, um, I think, I think CCP has a pretty good idea where they want to take these. I think they want to take Citadels in, get rid of stations. But by doing, I mean, again, the way that they're trying to do these and the mechanics that they're going to use are just going to compound issues with, well, then what do we do with, um, you know, NPC null space? 
What do we do with, you know, high sex stations? What do we do with faction warfare systems? I mean, all of this stuff is is in some way or another related or intertwined. I think I think they're going to be hesitant to change high sex stations in general, just because it sounds like a pain in the ass. But uh, citadels as they are right now are really fucking good. Like yeah, they're not they're too much effort machines. to put in, and they're fucking scary. Like the guns yeah. on citadels are horrifying. If you get a chance, go watch the fucking video where the PL Cap Fleet attacks the the uh, fucking PL XL Citadel, and the dude just beats the dog shit out of us. Yeah, dude, it's absolutely fucking disgusting. How you guys are so great. bad. You guys are terrible with fucking cats. Well, no, I mean, that video today yeah. showed the dude Doomsday <laughs> and the weapons. I mean, they were... I mean, and that's why somebody, you know, that's why they got, you know, you know, NPC, NPC Citadels, if they do have them say it's an NPC Nullsec, they're not going to be pushovers, especially when you want to combine NPC Citadels with the fact that now NPCs, all the different races, have their own fucking t Supers and Titans. I mean, uh, yeah. Shit like that. I'm not gonna be pushovers, yeah, which like is good. To to that is like what you would do, right? Just like large citadel in stain, and then get dropped by an NPC super fleet. That'd be funny as fuck. They, they should. I mean, we've been saying for a long time. Wait, wait. The oh, rats oh, in this, oh. the NPCs in this game, absolutely need to have more bite than they do. They absolutely do. But that means, yeah, if you that, are staging uh, that out of that boss. kind of system, if you are staging out of an NPC zero zero system, right? And you undock, and and, and you're corporation your your alliance has low standings to that particular organization then it just should, fucks should they up. should they not come in and fuck your shit up yeah yeah just like fucking yeah. big guns except it's a large citadel and just doomsdays your battle chip. no shit absolutely fucking i mean look again i'll bring it back to la, 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 the the white page the the oh, i say white page i mean the summit meetings there's been you know they talked about the the way what they could do with the ai in this game and some of that shit is just downright scary I mean, they, yeah, uh, they're going to give... They, um, Go ahead. They've definitely been touching on the whole giving NPCs bite. Like, if you watch the uh, the last 07 show or two 07 shows ago, like, that drifter boss in Wormhole Escalations, that shit is going to be fucking scary if they do it right. Like, it's it's a drifter battleship at the end, and the site becomes more top-loaded, where a lot of the value is in this, this yep. battleship Absolutely. that you kill. But if you, and don't, if you don't kill, kill it, him, it stays in your Wormhole... And if you do multiple sites and don't kill them multiple co times, they call each other for help. So if you don't well, clear them every time, then, like, the other four that you didn't clear will all warp in on top of the fifth one you're killing and then just mess your whole fight. They literally like, stay in your them. hole and call oh. for other friends. Yeah, so, so, so the, the cool thing is, is also, I mean, what I think is, you know, you see people, let's just be honest, I mean, you, you see people rat it, you see them rat and carriers all the time. People like to rat and carriers, that's fine. Uh, you know, you, your big concern is, having somebody come in and hot drop on you. But wait, what about the day where your big concern really isn't that? Your big concern is the fucking rats hot drop you. Dude, what I want to <laughs> see is, you know how sometimes you finish the Sanctum and there's like a faction rat at the end? I want to see people ratting in carriers, like doing a site and not paying attention. They get to the last wave and a rat titan just warps in, fucking doomsdays you and leaves. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, that's what I'm talking about. When I, want, when I, when I think that they're definitely adding and I want them to is... You know, it's totally cool. You want to legit, you want to go uh, rat in your carrier, but you're not just taking the risk of having a player hot drop you and kill your shit. But you might actually run the risk of getting called in a an NPC super fleet or something along those lines to where now it adds content because you can scream out, "Hey, hey, hey! I'm tackled by an NPC super fleet," and maybe your buddies come and help you because they think, "Oh, cool, we'll kill these NPC supers and maybe get fat loots," and maybe that shit escalates just like a player fight would. Do you remember, yeah, the, do you, the, it wasn't that long ago when we sat uh, there and thought that, like, drifters were going to be the thing that would have to attack the Imperium in order to bring it down, and... And that didn't end up being true, Well, but... and, and apparently, like, adding the, the drifters on top of that would have been bad. <laughs> yeah, that would have been... Before offices, it would have been just... sooner, but bad. Look, I'm just saying that, look, again, there's... They have a lot of stuff, and that's why I said, look, I think this next CSM, you know... Um, there has been talk in the past about how, uh, this next CSM is going to be irrelevant and there's not really going to be the anything, you know, they're not really going to be of any importance. And I, you know, from, from and I was immediately was like, no, I think they absolutely are going to be relevant because there's going to be tweaks and there's going to need to be balancing rounds and stuff to these things that we already know about, like Citadels. And as these new modules comes out, like the new mining platform, uh, all these other things start coming out, the CSM is going to be the one that supposedly should be there to soundboard this shit. As well as, you know, again, just the concept of what do we do now with stations? 
you know how do we how, you know because they've talked about that and they've gotten feedback but you know what come come day one when they start actually saying here's what's going to happen um first off it's going to be a rollout i guarantee you, you're not going to log in everything's going to change otherwise the server will be probably down for just days i mean i think they will have because they've already said they're going to swap the swap swap out uh it, i mean somebody said something about they're not going to touch high sec i actually believe they've already said for sure high sec will be changing um but they will be changing these out for high sec so that will probably be something they roll out over time you're not pushing your push talk. sorry I'm, I'm not do you know how worried they are in high sec oh my god where is my fucking market gonna be that's what they're worried about down there right right like well, come, I up gonna, to, come up to the lower null set for, in, for enjoy you know, the new yeah, territory. For a tax reduction, am I going to have to move over to this dude's fucking citadel? That's what they're worried about down there. They're not. Am I going to have to trade my sa the safety of the assets that I have on sale for a guy's citadel? Maybe well, one the, day, with, but with not the new, for like with 24 the video months. For the tour thing, the only one that it showed like a, a player market thing was for the XL. Does that mean? The XLs are the only ones with player markets, or are the player markets going to be in the mediums and the largest too? This has got to be a troll. Somebody saying that it's just been tweeted out that Laz is joining PL. Laz, right no, now, I, I can tell you, that. is partying no, with he, PL he, yeah, up, he, in, he, up at FanFest. Yeah, but that's the, why. But, He's not going to join PL. Yeah, like someone I, was, which someone is exactly was the. Which is exactly the same thing as when PL is partying with the Goonian out in fucking Vegas and shit like that, okay? Right. Yeah. Laz has not gone full gay. He's only just like, you know, like chilled in the gay region. We hold okay? dicks when we're hanging out. Exactly. Exactly. What Pretty stays much. in Vegas, yeah. what happens huh. in Vegas stays in Vegas, and what Laz does in Iceland. You know, they, you know, you know I, I kind of enjoy, I know Dirk said he's already heard before. I enjoyed the presentation. First off, did enjoyed, didn't enjoy. I didn't enjoy the presentation by the guy who was talking about his brain. I mean, I kind of zoned out on that guy. That should have never been part of the keynote. Um, that was really weird. That was some weird shit. But I enjoyed the guy that huh. wrote the book going back and kind of giving a in-person thing. You know, and the funny thing is, is I actually took part in one of the things he mentioned. Uh, he mentioned the fight at 1v. One one, ju no, no, ju just one second. I know, Sapporo, I know you may have come here for Dur Her Dur and you don't see him on screen, but fuck Subarus. Seriously, they are the <laughs> shittest oh, fucking car on the planet. But they're all-wheel drive. I just thought it was funny because, again, I wasn't expecting... But but it was kind of funny for him suck. to... Uh, somebody of my Shots. limited, uh, my limited uh, nature. Uh, it was kind of cool to see him talk about something that I actually took part in so long ago. I mean, I must have been in the game less than six months when we went down there and I took part in that 1V I E L, whatever the fuck it is up there by branch or whatever it is. Um Apparently don't fuck with Subaru because those shits are four wheel drive all over you. Yeah dude. <laughs> I mean if you want performance per dollar, best bet performance per best dollar. PPD you want, What's you your PPD? My PPD is two fifty. You get a Subaru. I thought I went into Sludge I bought a Subaru. I, I, if anyone's trying to contest me, then I'll fucking see you at the bike racks after school, motherfucker. I, <laughs> I thought. Oh, I, I mean, thought Kias were performance by dollar. Real quick, I have to add this. Like five bucks. Uh, I've been waiting for the show to go. Subaru is not a war. <laughs> I just want to go. I just want to. Hey, Dirk, you ready? I just want to go. Toot toot. Let me see. Go blap blap. <laughs> <laughs> See, hold on. That's what Zell has to do. Zell has to get to dance with it, right? Because if he got to dance with it, then it would be like a thing. Oh my god, I've watched that. I'm sorry. I've watched that fucking video that that made. I had my wife watch it. She didn't understand what it was. She's like, why would she make that? I was like, oh, well, she didn't make that. Somebody else did. But, oh, you're talking about that one. Yeah. The, <laughs> that video. Zell, you know what? <laughs> Zell is kind of cringeworthy for me, sitting in the channel when you have to, when you sit listen to go over and over and over about stuff. But... I gotta be honest, you know, in small doses, he is fucking hilarious. Have and you ever had him scout for you? I, I have been in oh, place no. with him. There's it's, no it's... way I could have him either A, scout for me, or B, be the Sino. Oh, I've been the in last place time... with Zell. He was in TNT with it. Oh, are you ready for me to light it? <laughs> oh, no, the like, worst. no, I am not fucking ready for you to light it. Would you chill? Uh, when Zell was in fleets with Hakua, it was the best. Oh, Hakua. Oh, yeah, let me touch my tra -la -la. Let me last light my time... Sino for you. <laughs> Oh, Last time that guy was scouting for oh. me, he went to the gate and told me, Oh yeah, there's a hundred Archons here, I have them all tackled.
What's actually there, Zell? You make me sad, bro. You make me sad, seriously. Fuck it, but yeah, he, he, yeah, I've, I've spent some time with him again. He's, he, he's funny. Like I said, that was hilarious. That that thing on, you know, and and, and she was funny too. Trying to be, trying to, um, it was so funny because she was going. Well, oh, she, she didn't know. No, no, she did. But just the funny because she's like, let's keep this professional. In the background, you got her basically stripping down, going straight out hooker mode. And it was two, two. It's like so, so, so. I have confirmed it with Scion. We are going to be opening up TMC recordings or TMC records. And we're going to be looking for uh, some some new artists. So we will be kickstarting the uh, blap blap toot toot <laughs> label. Blap blap toot toot label. Exactly. I, I want to fund him to come out to E Vegas and get her out there and just put those two in a room. And I think we could raise a lot of money for cancer research just by selling tickets to watch the thing. <laughs> would you be w- yeah. Would you be willing to make a two trillion isk minimum bid? <laughs> Herku forty four says. Look, to be honest, Zell is a bit embarrassing for us Germans. <laughs> I think Zell, we'll do is, we'll Zell do is literally, like, Zell's name, it translates into German as the best of us. Does it? <laughs> no, it does. Like, Zell, no. Zell in German means the best of us. It's kind of fucked up, but it's like, wow, that's... he is, a, the uh, like, he Three is kind of like the, whole phrase? the submaster race. Jude Lemay said oh. got it perfectly. Raise a lot of money for cancer research by generating cancer for all ear earshot. <laughs> Everybody gets cancer. It's equal opportunity. That's what Zell's about. Equal opportunity. Hey, uh, breaking news: Chicago Cubs pitcher Jake Arrieta just pitched a no hitter. Oh, nice! Oh, damn. Yeah, but fucking Prince died t- today, bro. <laughs> now, yeah. see, you say that, and, and I had no reference Again. to that. But you know what? I, I was there watching that shit on TV when Nolan Ryan did his night, his seventh no hitter. What was the what? There was a there was a guy a few days ago or last week or something. It was like he almost had a perfect game, not just no hitter, but a perfect game. And it was on the last batter that he had to get out, and he pitches, and the guy hits a home run. It's like wow, get fucked. No, well, yeah. it's, okay, I have, okay. So I'm totally sidelining this. If I stud two ninety nine says this is razor clear. Is razor clear? No, don't let him do anything ever. Hold on. Did he used to be an Eve radio DJ? I I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe because I mean he's like fucking nine. So unless he did that shit in yeah. diapers, probably not. I think he was young then too. Oh well, then maybe. All I know is I'm going to say this: Zell, Zell, in the last I think 24 hours. Oh yeah. See, he says yes, he was. I remember him. He was DJ Razor or some shit like that. She assumed we are going to do shots momentarily, but Zell in the last 24 hours got himself a Twitter account. And my initial response to him was, oh, you're a big internet personality now. You're going to get a Twitter account. Oh, you're the man. I'm going to tell you, Zell, (laughs) German weird language doesn't come across the same as English on Twitter. (laughs) Are you saying you're not following Zell on Twitter? No, 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 no. I don't am my not. boy, and I want to be able to DM my man. Okay, I have liked Zell for far longer than most of you Zell posers out there. Look, Zell. Oh, dude, yeah. Well, Zell's been a listener of the show for a long fucking time. Um, Zell- no, no, Zell has been a listener of Dirk because I keep promising him I'm. I keep promising him I'm, I'm going to come over for Schnitzel and Zell. <laughs> Zell's Schnitzel. That sounds dirty. Yeah. He'll show you his other beer. Oh, it's so dirty. It's so dirty. <laughs> Have you ever seen German porn? That's some Shots. fucked up shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, so how are you guys enjoying the war? Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, my God. It's dude. not so a bastion. You guys are all in Bastion, right? And, like, Bastion's face pretty much looks unfucking touched. Serenin's like Detroit, but let's be honest, okay? We know. <laughs> yeah. we, we know. We know that with the right water supply and shit like that and Flint nearby, that we can get the shit back in order and... We can like start to rebuild from there. Wait a minute, what well, does this you're mean? Right. You're you're absolutely right. It's like Detroit because we left a, a bunch of pandemic horde bodies, which are PL's meat shield, lying in the street today. Oh, Two fleets, wow. in fact. What does this guy oh. mean, Dur? Dur? It says the McLeod says I would say that having Dur Dur on is definitely the best decision to make sure there's no LGBT slurs. Oh, uh, I'm an asshole. Wow. Okay. Wait. Oh, what? Yeah, I, I thought he was Join just the fucking out club, like, oh, bro. Don't do it. We just got told not to do that. <laughs> well, no, no. Oh, oh, I see. He's making a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'm just a mouthy fuck. I, t- I talk shit to anything with ears. That's what he was saying. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I 
I mean, Grath already beat me to it, so whatever. What did I beat you to? Oh. Nothing. I didn't say shit, dude. Yeah. I didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, don't back down from Grath like that. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, no. What are you, a, are you a beaten fucking wife? What the fuck? <laughs> No, so, since God, God damn, the, I'll uh, make you your meatballs. Door open on the war. Will he really make my meatballs, though? I don't think he, he will. He will make your meatballs. Uh, you know, the better Christ. question would be, would, would I eat anything that Dirk cooked? Dude, I am a Dude, I'm a good fucking cook. cook. I'm going to tell you right now, because I'd make you chicken fried steak, Grat. Dude, I make the chicken best fried fucking steak food? And, and beer. We'd, 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 we'd roll out. I'd, I'd cook some amazing stuff. I'd can follow directions on a mac and cheese box and a DiGiorno pizza. And... <laughs> yeah, see, no, I'm Canadian. kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Actually, I could actually cook. I, I cooked for the a The only time. country that was found it physically possible to fuck up bacon? Canada? Yeah. <laughs> hey! Who has oh, round ham? Hold on. Speaking of bacon. They call it hold it's on. Just ham. It's not bacon. I gotta give a shout out bacon. to our local donut shop down here. Hold on. Because uh, I guess the owner's son did the, just out of nowhere started putting a slice of bacon on their kolaches, which is the pigs in a blanket. And oh, I, shit. dude, like, just the best thing ever. Uh, hey, BC, did you catch that? Someone just, I clicked back onto the stream right as the donation was fading. Someone donated. I don't the know. Bass, the Sea Bass is probably at some bar drunk as fuck looking at titties. Uh, well, he wants us to do a shot. You know what? Whoever just donated, it's doing Cibasa. a shot for you. Yeah, see, boss, he donated. I missed it. I clicked back on the stream, right? So I was like, I don't know who did it, how much they did, or what their message was, but he's calling for a shot, so I'm doing a shot for God C gave me the ability to buy a giant bottle of Tito's, so fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Incompetent shots for Seabasa, because we don't know how to do our job. Seabass is the guy behind the scenes. He gives us, like, the internal metrics that tell us, you know, guys, you need to be talking nicer to the people out there. They want to know what it is you think, but not, like, what you really think. Here's what I think. Grow a thicker skin. <laughs> they want opinions. They just don't want your actual shit opinions. Exactly, exactly. Play to the crowd. Like, tell them what you think. Say, be like, be like, like once in a while, once in a while, BC, you should be like, Hey, Dreddit's recruiting. Because they're always recruiting. Everybody have, knows that. We have just say it. that. Dude, fucking CCP Seagull said it at the keynote today. That was excellent. <laughs> we should host commercials for the alliances that are out there recruiting that are against us. I'll buy every time slot. No, I mean, every we, single one. we should because it's like, because I'll then somebody would say, oh, look, they're fair and balanced. You know who Dude, else I'll is buy doing every that? Slot. Crass Kitty. Oh. All right. We're, <laughs> we are literally one of these nights going to have to address this. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, boy. BC, I'm going Come to on. allow you to address this. Uh, again, I have no problem with Crass Kitty as a streamer. I've said this before. Uh, I like that she's a new player. Trying to, But she needs to just be a new bro and do that. This whole thing of... I not only am a new bro, but I want to be some sort of war correspondence like fucking uh, Walter Cronkite or fucking, uh, you know, Tom Brokaw or some shit. You know, you're a new bro. Learn the game first. When you interview somebody like Zell, you should have been known you were being trolled to your fucking tits fall off. I mean, you, you, there was the experience. It makes for a better war correspondence. Again, that's why you don't have just random scrubs being thrown over to the action in fucking Iraq. I mean, you know, you have people that are legit. Nobody wants to watch some guy that they've never even heard of report on something of major consequence. Because if you don't I mean, know what the fuck you're talking would. about... BC, you think I'd give you a war correspondent? I would love to them go, just go, go run through downtown Trenton, New Jersey, just scoop up one dude, stick a vest on him that says press, and drop his ass <laughs> off in Fallujah. Just drop him <laughs> 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 just drop hey, hey, you're covering the Flint water like, supply like, today? Like, you're covering the Baghdad water supply tomorrow. No, but hold on, hold on. But just, I just want to finish what I'm saying. Um, because that's the way the world... Dude, I'm not going to get into that. That I, I agree to some extent that happens out there. Again, my only issue with her is, like, just be a new bro. Be one of the new players of the game. Learning the game. Showing people how it is. That's totally awesome and cool. But then she goes on. She's, she, you know, she does this new war correspondence thing. She's got this stupid shit about, if you want to advertise during my show, here's my fucking rates. You know what? If you want to advertise during this show... Just fucking say, hey, give a shout out to fucking Tess when you're ready for recruiting. 
Hey guys, you Rancid and Fruity. I don't got no fucking gonna, ad rates. I'm gonna throw one out there right now. If you want to advertise while I'm banging my wife, and most of you, like some of you, have like literally met my wife, okay? If you want me to look her in the eye, okay, while she's riding me, and me say, you know what, dread it's recruiting, okay? <laughs> That is literally five. Hold on, billion I need to dress up real quick. Five billion is. Okay, okay, hold on. My wife wants five billion. Hold on, somebody, I don't give a shit about all that. Look her in somebody the eye. Somebody says, you know, look, she's not doing something that we haven't already done before. Somebody made the comment about you're, you know, she's doing this. You know, step up, do it yourself. We have. We've done this, okay? She got to talk to Manifest. She got to talk to Lash. She got to talk to Elise. Been there, done that. She, I mean, so this is not a. Oh my God, look at what she's getting that I'm not getting. It has nothing to do with that at all. I'm not jealous of her. That has nothing to do with any of that shit because there's nothing she's doing now that I haven't done over the last four, year, four and a half years of doing this shit. My problem is not Dirk's with that. In the background. That's my wife in the background playing Rocket League and going absolutely fucking just ballistic on people. I'll tell you right now, if you're playing Rocket League right now and you suck, don't get on my wife's team. Cause she was. <laughs> my wife looked at me and she's like, she's like, I have no idea what five billion is, kids, but I want twice that. <laughs> I was gonna say, I thought the the lady freaking out in the background was you pissed off your wife, Derek. No, no, no. That's, that's my wife. That's my wife going crazy on yeah. Rocket League. When my wife is pissed off at me, she'll come down and hit me with like an object of some sort. <laughs> I've seen it. When she's greedy, she'll ask for more money. God damn, woman. <laughs> P42 says even BC is being trolled by Labia. her. I'm not being Labia. trolled by her. Yes. Is she, is she, it has nothing to do with being trolled by her. I'm saying I've tuned into I've been watching a lot of streams. I've been going out there and kind of been, been some stuff that I've been kind of checking for myself, you know, trying to uh, answer some questions that I have myself about streaming and stuff like that. And I have watched her stream. I watch uh, uh, what's it, Zarvox's stream. I've watched quite a few different streams. Um, I'm not I'm not uh, being trolled by her. My pro and again, I have no problem with her as a streamer. Fine. Great stream. Go for it. That's not my issue. My issue is her trying to take it to that next step and kind of go outside of what I would say is her, her, uh, I don't want to say position, okay, but, you know, of where she should, she, you know, her, her, her hierarchy should be. She's a new bro. You know, leave this other stuff to the more experienced people. Oh, if you man. Want to, if you want to learn I, about it, great. But I heard you say it wasn't about that, but that right there just came off like you're uh, mad that she's trying to muscle up into your pie. And no, because I don't care. I, I, no, and that's, and that's I mean, fine. I understand people you will say all, that. that. People, exactly people will assume. No, no, I understand that. People always say that. But I don't care. I don't really care what she does. But if you're going to say, what about you this crap? a little bit. So look, in Eve, you get to be whatever I, I have you a problem she with. She wants to be a war correspondent. My, my only issue with any of this, really, is just the fact of. Well, you know, why can't you just do it and be chill about it? You why know, can't she's... You just go in the kitchen. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, listen, listen. I mean, like I said, I, we don't, we don't do ad rates here. You know, if you want to say Dreads recruiting, you want to say Hey PLs recruiting, whatever, go for it. I don't care. You know, but to take it that next. If you step, want to say Dreads recruiting, we'll put you on as a fucking co-host. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wait, so does she charge real money or does she charge us? Yes. She charges, no, and she's, she charges she's, more. She charges well, love he money. Has a long and storied history of like shamelessly debasing our dignities for space money. Can we well, just can we just accept extra, that? Because you, you know, like extra. I had to become CEO of a shitty corporation full of redditors just so I could steal from the wallet. <laughs> you pay extra. Fucking say your ad yeah, you do. Or your well, I, I in a sexier voice. Why can we say? Wait, 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 wait! I challenge this. What the fuck? You can't. You just say it. You can't say it. I, hold on. I was not using it in a it bad... It doesn't matter. I was it's, using it's it a as a definable term. It doesn't no. matter. You can't it... even say it just to, in a non-derogatory way. Oh, They're not going to ban us like we were playing music that they can, like, like pull back to some they, other... It doesn't matter. You've already been told not to say the words. So why would you fucking say so, it? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Is it... Is I'll apologize more than crap. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'll write a fucking... <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? .com article tomorrow. <laughs> what? So we got talked about. What did you say? I said, uh, is it kosher to say shit face cockmaster, or are we away from that? Yeah, yeah, yes, no, it's, yes. There's, and if you want to no give away two trillion or... is, but never give away two trillion is to a two face cockmaster tomorrow, <laughs> totally cool. Yeah, no, swearing's fine as long as it's not like racial or like derogatory, like uh, like sex derogatory terms. As far as like, well, no, it's basically just, like no gay or lesbian derogatory terms or racial terms. That that's like yeah. the limits. 
the triggers. All of you are out there on the internet right now. You're all either young enough or old enough to be evolved into what is known as a trigger. Triggers right now are things that like generally irritate you in a way that like oh fuck oh hold on okay say, that, okay no no but before too i'm not saying hey dude i've never said that i'm not i'm not a uh she should be in the kitchen kind of thing i don't care i'm glad that she's streaming again i like that the people are out there streaming you know we've had a lot more e-streamers here lately that's totally cool i understand cool. but your totally... premise is she should know her place no no like, no that i'm is saying what your argument boils <laughs> down to well yeah. because because again when she sits there and she's interviewing people should you know your place though <sighs> Anyways, should I? I mean, should any of us? I'm not I mean, saying she should I, know I her place because I don't know. Again, and I never argument. said that. My point is, I was trying to. What I was trying to say okay, without is is I don't know what her place is. I mean, she can do whatever she wants. I'm just saying that um, if she got you know learned the game a little better, she would probably be better at this. You know, the whole you know war correspondence thing. I mean, being kind of new to it doesn't really help you much. We're all well aware watching. that the best show on earth would be her. Macy Lee, Mint Chip, and fucking me moderating. We all know that. That is a fucking given. So why is that? Why does that show not exist? Well, didn't Mint Chip uh, quit and go play another game? I don't know what she's done, but we're not. I don't know, play, but maybe. why are you saying she quit? She didn't quit. She's just out there being a fucking phantom, like like a hot dropper and shit. Requiem says, "But because you're getting called out, I'm not getting called out. I don't care what she does." Just stop rocking in your fucking chair, because you're good. You're making me sick. Wait, no. Well, hey, as a as a fellow chair rocker, I got nothing wrong with no problem with that. But, uh, chair rocking. Chair rocking. I uh, think it is an interesting for chair career rockers. choice because Eve is a game that lets you do whatever the fuck you want. My thing is this: this is the first person that has ever showed up that I, to my knowledge, that has said I want to be. An Eve fucking news reporter. Hold on, that's not true. Right I'll tell you, hold on. Except for every podcast yeah. writer and yeah. person. Well, you know what? You know what? Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Let me get this. Right up it, no, no. First day, no, wait, hold like, on. Grass, grass, stop. Grass, son, stop. Listen. Grass, even Here's the I problem. Fucking dirt Look, when we were at Eve Radio, there was absolutely people wanting to put on some sort of news show where we kept up with news. The problem is, there's just not a lot of news at Eve. Eve gets super slow. Yeah, when there's a big fucking war like this, great, there's tons of content. But, you know, in a month, is she still going to be wanting to do this news correspondent thing? And if so, what news is she going to be talking about? Because there's not going to be anything. Wait, was that an admission that the war is going to be wow. over in a is month? Is it because, yeah. No, no. I'm not saying that's happen that was just a generalization. Come on, guys. <laughs> well, I, I've noticed yeah. that she slowed down, so I think... You know the war's going to turn by probably by October. Big I'm, I feel like I'm saying that playing. look, when we were doing radio, it was the idea of doing like a quick, uh, you know, hourly report on anything going on in the Eve was always thrown around. The problem was you need people willing to go out there and find this shit because it doesn't just fall in your lap like it does in a big war. Turns um, out if you're uh, if you're a, like if you're a redhead, it does evidently because it just kind of like fell in her lap from the day she started playing. Like I don't understand. I'm 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 trying to understand, but like I think well, she can. She seems well, to get you away. Know, with wait, the wait, 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 Every day, Graf. Six months ago, if I came out, I was like, man, I want to be a news correspondent for Eve. What would I report it about? I don't know, we've been Very like, who's that fucking fat guy around. reporting about shit? There was a drone, what? there was a whole bunch of Russian fighting going on in the East six months oh, ago. Oh, God, they, they, oh, okay, so. The West was in a war for, like, Mad Cloud says, big country. To be honest, the first reporter that I remember was Mad Annie and streaming fights and stuff. That uh, was not a reporter. That was, was he, just, he, like, that was like he was a streamer. Reporting. He was a streamer. He wasn't reporting anything. He was yeah. streaming. He was, he was, a was providing no context or commentary. Yeah, yeah, it was just a, now, I... Maybe there's been someone that's done it before, but he was the first person that did that type of thing that I've... This cameraman. is why I wish, this right, is right. why I wish that all of, Look, the dearth of capable reporters out there, this is why I wish that, like, the three major organizations would find a way to come together to be able to, like, promote an unbiased reporting of Eve from around the horn... With the limited people that can do it. Eve News 24, the Matani.com, CZ, the people who are out there, do it. Fucking put your forces together to be able to cover it for the rest of Eve. The 90 you guys are the 1%. Cover it for the 99%. Yes, I know, I know they're welfare people, but cover it for them. <laughs> welfare people need to know why they're but getting their food stamps. 
Uh, it would the be, correct it, term is plebs. All right, before we move on, yeah, right. I just want to reiterate yep. that. Look, before all these people again, because you always have these. Look, I'm glad that she's streaming. I'm glad that there's so many people streaming, not just her. Okay, and she's more than free to do whatever she pleases. I just, you know, I've gone and I've listened to her. In, in my opinion, um, I, you know, I think for what she's trying to do, having more experience would, would really do her, you know, more justice. And that's where it, I'm going to leave it. it. Has nothing to do with it, any in the white knighting or Chocolate any... Rain donated three thousand dollars. You know that, right? Yes. Okay. But Wait, real quick, oh, real quick, we got about fifteen minutes left. Uh, just so you know, Ballers, baby. The new Ballers July HBO. But on Remember top of that, that, now hold on. I, I've been, I've been, I've been, I, I stayed on this. I didn't mention this. Um, I saw a little teaser clip for um, Game of Thrones. And all it was was a burning battlefield. This Sunday. Hold on, listen, Sunday, listen, Sunday. listen, shut up. There was a burning battlefield. Sunday, Sunday, Oh, my Sunday. God. <laughs> shut up. So this quick teaser was a burning battlefield and a flag with a dragon on it ripped to shreds and burning. And somebody going, uh, in, in another language, I couldn't really hear what it is, but the announcer's is like, you're the millionth of your name. You're nobody. You're not the mother of anything. And then you hear the guy in whatever language is, he says Khaleesi. And then it cuts out. I think they're going to kill her off this season. No. Uh, there's, there's no, no way. way. Uh, they kill off the hottest on the show. A lot of people, uh, they, a lot of people is, are, you know, have, have put their stuff on YouTube about who they think is going to live or die this season. Uh, and there's a lot of people. seasons left. A lot of, this one. Well, that's great. But we're, we're talking about this one. And a lot of people yeah. think that. Of course, um, they're going to kill everybody. Uh, a lot of people think that um, uh, a lot of the Starks are going to die. The they think that uh, a, 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 a lot of the Starks are already. No, 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 hold on, hold on. There's, 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 there's three. Left. There's four. There's four. There's, there's no. There's three. There's uh, Arya. There's Arya, Sansa, Rickon, and Bran. Rickon disappeared. With there the are fucking a shit about that. It's character. not a lot know, of the Starks are going to die. There's so. literally four Starks left on the fucking planet. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the Starks, meaning like you mean the minority that's left. Some of them might die. <laughs> they are literally. South of the Hondurans right if, now. If one of They're them like, dies, that's a lot of the Starks now. Can we just for a second? The last character that's going to die in Game of Thrones is going to be George R. R. Martin, and it's going to be before the series. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, hold on. He's definitely going to die before HBO is done with this shit. <laughs> Probably. Dude, he's going to die before he's done with this shit. Does he you, know, you, know, you know who a lot of people <laughs> don't think is going to die? They don't think Cersei's going to die. Uh, they think that you've been through too much shit already. She's gonna be fucking hardcore. She's, she's been through uh, too much Terminator. Shit. Because number one, she's gonna come in as the Terminator in Book Eight. Well, well, no, Jesus she Christ. just she look, 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 the if Terminator. She the mountain mountain Carl Earth. Urban and Judge Dredd. She has uh, no hope here. Yeah, so. the Mountain Two Point is the Terminator in this one. Um, Did you see the uh, trailer for Magnificent? Drayden, my man. Dirt. So no. you also have. Um, okay. Good talk. Yes, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking. So here's what I think happens in Game of Thrones. Wait, I know what happens. So this season, Caitlin Stark is coming back as uh, Lady Stoneheart. Oh. Who's that? Oh. Uh, the big question is, are they going to kill off Tyrion? Nobody wants that to the happen. The midget? Nobody kills off the midgets. No. Nope. And in fact, Vinyl is just bringing midgets in right now. There, there's a lot of characters I like in the show. But oh, my God. Is, I try to. It, Dirk's like, dude, you should watch Vinyl. I, if, dude, I it was so rough for me getting through this. If Vinyl is like if Tyrion and Arya live at the end, that's all I care about. Vinyl is the same show, but music. It's about killing people off, but with music. BC, do not report on Game of Thrones if you are so new to it. Dude, I've watched every fucking season. So I know, far. BC. Jesus Christ. Would you fucking keep up with this shit? Dude, have you ever watched this show that has, like, a computer that, like, can, like, check out shit out in the neighborhood and tell, like, the guy and what's going dude, on? Dude, they're, they're canceling that after this next season. What, they're canceling Person of shit. Interest? Person of Interest. Yes, they got one season oh, left. That show that's a good show. so good. Great fucking show. It is. I love Person of Interest. season one ended, and they went, well, what do we do now? Person of and Interest was actually really a great show. Out. Person of Interest was a great show when people thought, Maybe it wasn't possible, but we all know it's possible. We all know it's exactly what's going on right now. But, um... I know BC doesn't in Dallas. The Brink, but, like, the Brink is not coming back, even though they did. Yeah, that, 
That was a really good show. That really sucked. I liked that I, show. Everyone, a lot of people liked that show. I thought it was good. I thought it was fucking... Dude, Tim Robbins totally fucking owned Tim that Robbins show. Tim Robbins really good. Here's the question, though. Because uh, because the show that came on... Oh, my God. I'm going to forget it. Spades is good. No, the, one, the show uh, that came on Silicon, after the brink. Silicon Valley? Ballers. No. Ballers. Oh, ballers. fucking ballers. Oh, right. Ballers is definitely fucking call, coming back. What's the show that's going to come on before that? They got a new show coming out. They got a couple of new shows coming out. Oh, they're going to fucking pre-roll out of Ballers. Ballers, I'm going to tell you right now, is the 30-minute show that must, must, must become a one-hour show. If there's any oh, yeah. show out there that deserves it, it does. Well, you know, unfortunately, they're excelling girls at the end of this year. Wah, wah. Girls? Oh, my God. She's not <laughs> even a girl on that show. It's so bad. It'd be better titled 250 Pound Lamb Beach Beast. Uh, another show that got re picked up again was Madam Secretary, which I want to say has a special place in my heart because I don't fucking I, know I if agree. that show ever stops. It's like a new one every week, every day, every week, all week. It's like, what the fuck? They are totally trying to make that show be the reason why you vote for Hillary Clinton. And totally, if Hillary Clinton was Le Tia Leone, I would vote for Hillary Clinton. But. It didn't go down the way it did in the real fucking series, so the the whoa, real whoa, life whoa, whoa. is bad. Get ready to somebody said ballers is garbage. Fuck it. Who? Who? Cause give them the fucking comms information. Ballers is the shit. You know it is if you live in Miami, because it's real. Dude, to me, ballers is just the football version of Entourage, which I love fucking Entourage. No shit. No shit. Totally one up. <laughs> That guy's a fucking troll. He's one of the only people we've ever banned from r slash even. I just went and looked up his fucking Reddit account is banned. Oh my god, the guy that, that is totally saying ballers is shit is, is Gorski Carr. <laughs> no, it's not oh, Gorski. What? <laughs> oh no, it's not Gorski Carr. It's Gorski, Gorski Carr's brother. Gorski Dude, Gar. Does Gorski have a brother? Is his name Gorski Van? I don't know. Is, <laughs> is it Gorski <laughs> A-Team Van? <laughs> Oh my god. El Gorski Camino? His fucking cousin Gorski Boat? <laughs> <laughs> that, that uncle they don't want to talk is about? It, would it be Gorski 18 Wheeler? Is it kind of <laughs> weird for the CSM this year that Gorski has been elected on the first ballot? He's not somebody waiting to to yeah, get he's kicked off before he comes he in? He actually made it for real this time? That means he's going to get banned for life, right? Because when he gets kicked, it's going to be, like, permanent. It's going to be like, BAM! Done! We suckered you yeah, into the yourself. Yeah, we all know that, that, Boat's, that Boat's cousin is the big red car. The <laughs> big red car. Has he, has he licensed that? Well, he's got to kickstart it first. To get funded oh, and all that. Do you kickstart oh. to license now? Is that, like, the fucking trademark yeah, deal? Well, you got to... Get a fucking thing, bullshit. America, thing, America's fucking fees. bullshit. America. I'm, I'm totally fucking moving to like Canada. Honduria. Honduria? Canada. Did you just hold us fuck here? It's fucking bullshit. It's like you get a license that kind of shit. The big red boat should be owning that right now. You know, if I had to move any bullshit country, I'd definitely move out to Greece. Wow. Why you got like, all those people passing through your fucking house? Well, you they're could, all coming from that place. You could move there if you're poor in the U.S. You could move there and be rich. I exactly. Guess, like ten dollars, and you 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 fucking own half the country. <laughs> it's so bad. No, it's just that everything costs ten dollars in their money. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Urzi on ninety nine. All tonight, we chime in about fucking what's going on at FanFest. I know you're a guy who reads it. I know you're a guy who watches it. And at the end, slam dunk on the fucking, like, what's going on over in fucking Greece. Yeah, because you guys have been fucking motor mouth 100 miles an hour. I can't get a fucking word in it was. You can! You just fucking speak up. And then everybody goes, oh my god, he's bigger than yeah, me. just yell at whoever's talking. 
This is the way open comms used to be. For those of you out there, this is the way you open comms used to be. We didn't give a shit. We didn't give a shit about who could say what or like what they knew or whatever. It was like, did you have the personality that can fucking shout down a motherfucker who didn't know shit about what not? <laughs> that's, wow. that's, that's like the favorite. God, I fucking watched Tropic Thunder the other day. If anybody I'm can sorry, transcribe like... that into words and like print it out, that is literally our fucking mission statement. <laughs> this is about fucking having a conversation at a goddamn bar, okay? And if you're a soft saken bitch, okay, step the fuck out. I know, dude. I Unless am. you're in Idaho, whatever. Well, I'm a dude. Play a dude, pretend to be another dude. You're the type of dude don't know what a dude he is! <laughs> no, a dude who pretends to be another dude is fine. But a dude who pretends to be another dude who's fucking on a dude? That's fucked up! We know that! We know that shit! I just got so lost. Like, I, I feel like there was some medication that I should have taken that I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> No, Tropic Thunder was not the Hulk Hogan in the Jet Boat series. That was Paradise yeah. Thunder. Thunder Paradise. Thunder Paradise. Thunder Paradise. Tropic I... Thunder was the one where Robert Downey Jr. is a black guy. Yeah. They had Ben Stiller. Oh, yeah, Tropic Thunder so good. Uh, that speaking was of, bad. Speaking of, that was bad. We all know shows. that was bad. Right? Come on. We know it was bad. Come on. That's a good movie. Uh, dude, I fucking love that, that movie. That movie was fucking great. I didn't yeah. know that Tom Cruise was Tom Cruise until the credits came on and yeah. said it was Tom Cruise. But how did oh, you yeah. know that movie was fucking great? It's like, Jesus Christ. There was a guy pretending to be a black guy. We that's know that so right good. now that's wrong. No, we know it's wrong. I can't. The first time I watched that movie, I started halfway through it, and I actually thought it was a black... I did not yeah, know it was yeah, Robert sure. Downey Jr. I thought it was a you black guy. You didn't know that? Oh my god. Well, I didn't see the that's because when I watched it a second time, I was like, oh, okay, they explained it in the beginning, but, I mean, like, when you come in... That's because you through? didn't grow up seeing Less Than Zero and knowing who Robert oh, Downey Jr. is. Hey, Zell. Blap, blap. Toot, toot. Toot, toot. They will not hey, invite Zell's me, scary. sadly. Will you tell me anything? Racist, racist blah, blah, blah. is only funny when the people who hear it think it's funny. Otherwise, it's just, ah, just, just chatter. Getting ready well, for you know, that level four mission because it's a sub we be missing. Oh, Robert Downey this... Jr. in blackface is bad because you know what? Nobody should be doing blackface. You should be you should be hiring actors who like you know play the role. Well, I mean, I think that's that, that's what Hollywood did. Yeah, or, or that's does. part of the joke. Dot dot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it is part of the joke. Dot dot. We don't have enough in Eve. That's dot dot right now. Grath, I'm gonna ask you right now, oh. right now, straight fucking up. I don't give oh, a shit we if go. we go. I don't give a shit if we go over time. Ask yes, you are in a cult. Yes, he's gonna lead you into a cave. He's gonna give <laughs> yeah, you yeah, too yeah, late. Yeah. The shit's gonna totally, have poison, totally. and you're all gonna die. All right, look, the whole no, fucking Aspergers thing. Is yeah. it okay <laughs> to make jokes about Aspergers? And and for those who say it's not, you is know it what? okay to make you jokes about listen, AIDS, listen, I cancer, actually want to talk Hitler, about this earlier, or my fucking gonna, testicles. I, like, some of the things I might say might be slightly offensive. Well, that's good, because you can hold on to it, because we got three minutes till the show's over. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, like... You can talk about you know, that shit on Drayden's show. In 1979, Red Fox, Red Fox made a joke on Fox TV that had an N-bomb in it. Um, uh oh And, like, that was an actual thing that was on broadcast TV on Fox. Nobody thought anything about it. It's on Sanford and Son. Uh, it's a really good, it's actually a really funny joke. Red Fox was a hilarious comedian. And there was a time when it was okay to make jokes about people and things. And evidently, you all are so fucking ass blasted sour at life that no, now it's not that no at one all. can I make mean, a joke about it. We've said many times. Pardon the fuck up offended. for like, not, like we've like, said many times. That's why fuck up for subscribers. Hold on, we've said many times. That's why you'll never see a remake of Blazing Saddles. It would never happen today. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, and it's just, it's sad that it's gotten to that point that there's so I mean, many sad people. We quit Tarantino with so Django. They actually, the next day, was like, there was 27 N words in that thing. It was like, oh my God, dude, it's a movie. I, I feel I like think there was more than that. Like, there's no amount it's of therapy a movie that can save about you. About like, if you. South. Yeah. I mean, I, I just don't. It's it, it disturbs me. I think you should be able to make as many jokes about Asperger's people as you want. White people, you should be able to joke about. Yellow people, brown people. If they made like a plum colored person and you wanted to tell shitty rape Smurf jokes about him, I don't. I think that should be <laughs> Why is it wrong to talk about like, people care. who are fucked up in any way wow. that they are fucked up? I don't find like I I find that if you 
give the offense power than it has power. If you make it a joke, then it's a joke. And I don't believe in that forever. whole own it thing. Like, oh yeah, fuck you, I'm a fucking Spurger. Can, I don't believe be in that real? whole, like, you know, can if I'm black and I say nigger, I own it. Okay. Whoa. And I'm sorry. Okay. God damn. No, 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 bullshit. Fuck you, I, fucking politically I correct motherfucker. It's not okay. correct. It's Twitch policy. I don't know. Fuck I'm, that shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. 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 The fact that matters, if you believe in that, like, politically correct bullshit where if you say a particular word that somehow you're worse than the people who allude to that word, that is bullshit. We all know it's fucking bullshit. We fucking rail against that shit. EVE is one of those fucking games that absolutely 100% rails against the illegitimate use of bullshit. Right, but what we're saying Wait, is... What? It's not the context you use it in. Twitch policies. And fuck you that can't shit. say it. Push that shit out there to fucking Twitch right now. I don't oh. give a fuck. Well, it's shit. not your Twitch channel getting banned. It's the whole Matani.com Twitch fine. channel getting banned. Then fine. Then I bring down their fucking Twitch channel along with their fucking sob. Who gives a shit? Okay? <laughs> No, I'm not even fucking joking. It's so pussification of everybody who is out there fucking listening on Twitter, on Twitch, on fucking, like, all this bullshit. It is so fucking sad. Dirk, I think that's... So, I mean, yeah, this, this is, uh... Gonna definitely add a lot more like shadow, shadowy Remember, play. Remember, was things yeah. to the game. Yeah. 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 Cyber terrorism yeah. in Dallas. Let's, 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 not, let's not let any kind of let's not let any kind of fantasies happen here. I watched all of the new X Files episodes. Don't talk about them. If you buy a shit ton of this and then rat out the first or something, you're gonna lose your shit ton of this.